Hello. Aha. Yay. Okay. So getting the things together. That is good. Checking this thing. <laughs> Making sure that is good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. There. And then this thing is good. All right. We should be good. We are doing the things. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Um, I had a thought um, that uh, I had been, I had gotten pretty far on lesson plan for that I'm working on for next lesson. And I thought I was going to be able to finish it quite quickly um, and then potentially present it, um, practice it um, uh, during this stream. That w did not happen. Uh, I will get to that <laughs> because lesson planning is hard. <laughs> There's always some snag or two or three. So we are going to practice our right seat flying. I'll have to switch the quadrant. Um, but yes, and our IFR things. So where is my thingy? I should probably rearrange these buttons. Uh, good. Okay. Excellent. Uh, and we are getting away, uh, maybe I guess from Oshkosh. Oh, uh, amazing. I, uh, I am. I'm excited for next year. I'm excited for everyone who got to go this year. Um, and yes, yes. Anyway, broken prop, buzzards roost and fun air. Very interesting. Okay. Let us see where we have ATC. So the plan is we are going to find somewhere uh, that has ATC, um, but it does not have very many planes. <laughs> because if our uh, IFR flight from the right seat uh, told us anything, it's that I cannot fly straight uh, from the right seat in the sim. So we need to find somewhere that's not going to be in the way when we inevitably get off course. Um, and where there's, yeah, how about like here-ish? I, I kind of want to go here because we've tried here and it ends up going offline, but I feel like it's the same here. Um, but we can work on track. Hello, hello. How's it going? How's it going? Hope, oh, sorry. Hope you're well. <laughs> gotta get those missing H's or gotta miss those H's. So eh, maybe here-ish, kind of, there's weather over here, so maybe people won't be over there-ish. We just must. We must just be away from the large airports. So, uh, zooming out, look at all the pretty color. <laughs> avoid, avoid. Um, and then we must uh, go there. So we're about around in here-ish. You know, it would make it easier if we just went all the way down there. Should we just go all the way down there? Why not? That sounds interesting. Noom, noom. Uh, avoiding the pink areas. I don't take that out of context. Um, there's a lot of like eh, MOAs and stuff. Oh, 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 wait, hang on. Hang on. We might have a winner. <laughs> What is this? Is this on an island? Oh, what is it? Hang on, hang on, hang on. No. No? Yes. What? What is this? What? Well, we're not doing that one. <laughs> Maybe this one. Should we do this one? Hmm. hmm. Or mm, that one's hmm. Maybe do that one. Go up to there and then up to elsewhere. Let's try it. Let's see, cause we'll see. We'll go there, then we'll go here, and then we'll go um there. That looks like that would have some proper approaches. Um, let us see. Perfect, we are alpha. How good lord. Um, let's bring it down a notch. Um, where are we starting? Not from there. How about let's just do. Santa Maria. Porque no. Uh, him, him, him. Uh, zero tango echo fife. Zero tango echo fife. Because we got permission. 
Ah, but still see the fucking fucking way. <sighs> what about this one? Um, uh, it should have an approach. No, hang on. What is the magenta shaded if not for an approach? Hmm. hmm. Non-precision instrument in good condition. Oh, does it no longer have an approach? I don't know. I always thought. Not always. Um. Or. 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 What's this one? Hmm. Hello, hello. How's it going? What is up? Um, not the plane quite yet. Sky Vector is up. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Other than that, we are just working on our Ooh, Pleasanton. Um, figuring out where we're going. Uh, but yeah, what is up with you? I hope all the good things. Uh ooh, 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 I like that. Okay. Uh we might be doing here instead. Tango three zero. Tango three zero. Boom. Instead of here and without this, we're gonna start oopsie daisy. We're gonna uh ooh, ooh, oh oh yes. <gasps> Should we um no mm, here? Um um M. Hardin. Uh, X ray alpha six six. X ray alpha six six. Or. Lewis Ranch two tango X ray four. Two. That's a T. Two tango X ray. Oops. Four. <gasps> that would be perfect! And then we shall utilize our this thing uh, plan there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm, then we go like this. Um, so yeah. Hang on. <laughs> um, oh, first we have to do the. You got home from Oshkosh on Sunday and had a great time. Okay, so more stories. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad that you got home safely. So you did. You went the entire week. And it did. It went well. Everything went well. It was good. You survived the storms as well. Um yes, okay. Making sure we are. We're we're right in between some thingies, but that is okay. So yeah, that should be okay. That should be good. Um so we are. We're just going to go direct to the VOR and then direct from the VOR to the airport and then that airport we will do the hey, give. There it is. Um, the approach. So we'll go like that. We will go like, uh, boom. And, um, boom. So first we look at nothing. Um, it is a brown airport and therefore, therefore has no instrument procedures. Correct? Um, including departure procedures. Let us check that though. Um, I don't like this. Do I just click that? Yes, that's right. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to look on four flights. Yeah, for the most part, okay. Stormwise, yes, for the first one. Crammed into a car with five people who did not fit inside car. And then the second storm, you were in a restaurant for most of it. Okay. Okay. I mean, you do what you gotta. Second one sounds much better than the first. But okay. Excellent. I am. I'm glad that it didn't go um, too poorly. And it was. It was. It was survivable. So good. Excellent. Did you eat anything good in said restaurant? <laughs> 
Oh, um, there. I have to get rid of all of this. Um, oh, the night time. Um, and then that's that thing which bothers me, but okay. So when you, so when you're on four flight and you try to tap the, what are you doing? Oh, there. You're on four flight and you tap, you tap so that you can see the legends, um, because it shows, yeah, it shows the legends. Um, and sometimes it it has not the legends and something else that doesn't help you. So, yeah. Um, facilities in brown do not have a published instrument approach procedure or radar minima. And now I'm wondering whether um, instrument approach procedures... No, that's an approach. So so it, it says instrument approach procedures or radar minima. So can airports, brown airports still have departure procedures, question mark? I don't know. You walked about 60 miles uh, in, in total or for a set thing? You had cheese curds and giant pretzels and barbecue ques quesada and a giant... I was a ram cookie thing, and it was named The Bar. That sounds amazing. <laughs> um, yeah. Was it... So was it on the grounds, or was it, like, on, like, in peripheral areas? Overall, okay, sounds good. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, like... Maybe you had to. Sometimes, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But okay, excellent, nice. And that's why. That's why it's good. It's like because then you do. You just get to splurge the entire week because you're walking it all off <laughs> and sweating it all off. I heard it was really hot as well. You survived the heat as well. Oh, a quesadilla. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was like a a brand name or specific something or of something. Got you. Okay. Yum. Oh, that does. That sounds that sounds amazing. And now I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. So we don't have any obstacle departure procedures. Uh we should probably check the length of the runway. 4800. We're good. Um Yes. Uh so we will be going 2400 for here. Um, <laughs> all right, so, okay. If we are climbing, right? So we're going here, right? Okay, excellent. Well, then we have to go there anyway. And we are going that way, which is, ah, so we'll just go 5,000. We will just go 5,000. I was going to say around the 2,400 thing, but we do. We have our Oroka off-route obstruction clearance. No, off-route obstruction, obstruction clearance altitude. Um, and that is what we are in here. So we will. We'll go up to 5,000. We're going that way and slightly that way. Oh, technically we're going slightly that way. However, at that point we'll be getting onto the approach, I think. So we'll aim for 5,000. That will be what we file as well. Um, and that's our first leg. So after that, then we talk to ATC about it. You don't know what your autocorrect was doing. That's okay. That's okay. We figured it out. It is. Oh, freaking autocorrect. And they say that AI is getting better. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I see things like that and I'm like, mm, I don't know. But that is. That's funny. Uh, we have our VOR DME at McKinley Field Tango Tree Zero. It is up to date. Um, is coming up about a week-ish. A little over a week. 
Pearsall, 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 Texas. Vortac 115.8. Approach course 352. Runway length. Not available because it is an alpha. Touchdown zone elevation is not available because it is an alpha. Airport elevation is 586. Um, use Kotula altimeter setting. Good to know. Uh, procedure is not authorized at night. Kotula. Ah, oops, oops, oops. So we will be getting our weather around there-ish. And yeah, okay, excellent. Manly. Um, frequencies will get on. <gasps> That's it. Um, <laughs> Mr. Approach, climbing left turn to 2500, direct to the Kotula Vortac and hold. Oh, send you the route. Um, I will. We're making sure that this is good. Um, I guess I'll, I'll throw it in there right away. Uh, in case I change. Hello, by the way. How's it going? Uh, and you might join tonight to try and see how your new yoke works. Excellent. Um, oop. So you have not tested it yet? Does that mean you just got it today or recently and just haven't gotten a chance? And again, hello. Hope you're well. Uh, route, and I will pin it unless we decide to go elsewhere. <laughs> I, think we, I think we are. I think we're good. Pinned, and we'll leave it up. Okay. The heat was bad. The Ford, the Ford trimotor people kept you hydrated and had tons for shade. Nice. Only day you really threw your hands up and went back to the house due to heat was Friday. Okay. Saturday with the Ford guys with Cutro. Why? Why? If, if I may ask. Um, you you got it yesterday. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Well, I hope I hope you can. I hope you can, and I hope it goes well. And I, I'm, gl I'm glad that you stayed hydrated as well. I'm still trying to figure out the water situation around the grounds because they have the little fountains, but I feel like I can never find them. So, yes, that is very helpful uh, when, when you can find them. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. Next year. Next year. It'll work. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Climbing left turn to 2,500 direct to the Vortec and hold. Oh, God, it's an arc. I forgot about that. Um, So um, we're coming direct from there, so we technically don't need to do the arc. So I guess that's fine. Which, you know what, is also fine because right seat. So we are. We're not going <laughs> to. What exactly? Okay, I almost don't want to ask the question, even though it's funny. What exactly feels manly? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Oh my god. <laughs> or or maybe it's it's a um it's a mystery. Hang on. I I'll, I'll okay. So we go from feels to manly to majvo. Um so I feel like that like that answers the question. What feels manly? Majvo. What is majvo? I don't know. Do I want to know? Probably not. So, anyway, continuing. So we're coming from the Vortac. Vortac um, we have our DME. It's at 10 DME, uh, is feels from the Vortac. We're going to be at above, at or above 2,500. Mm, procedure turn, not, not authorized. No procedure turn. Excellent. Amazing. Um, at Manly, 16 DME, final approach fix, 2,500. Initial approach, initial approach fix, final approach fix, Manly, 16 DME. Again, still at, at or above 2,500. And then our circling is to 1120. We are coming in like so. And then we will just have to figure out what, ooh, where is it? This, or what's it we're going to be landing on? Sounds kind of wordy, dirt. I think so as well. <laughs> but you said it, not me. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is so <laughs> there's some where it's just like you don't there. There's nothing you can figure out with them and it's just fine. And then there's those other ones where it's like that must be one of the best jobs is just 
naming these things. So, okay, sent Little and Big Fort for takeoff. They took off. Right. Looked south of the airport, saw two columns of smoke coming up from the ultralight field. And then there was a helicopter, gyrocopter midair. That's right. I did hear about that. Okay. Damn. Okay. Yeah, that was. That was incredibly sad. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I, I do. Not to downplay any of that, because there was the other one as well, into the lake, correct? And it was almost, like, very soon at after or before that one uh when that happened right did has can i has anything been found out recently about what happened and again I, again not to downplay any of that but the fact that that those are the only two things that happened not to downplay the only two things that happened when especially on thursday there were the most right the most in and out and stuff traffic not ever i don't know um is 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 good <laughs> so again definitely sad but hopefully looking forward to learning what happened and to learn from your friend was there when the plane went down at hampton beach that sucks well yes thoughts and prayers with the families and people who know them and yeah, hopefully we can figure that out. Or they can figure that out. I believe two hours apart. Not sure if anything else else was released as of yet. Okay. Sounds good. Well, we will. We'll find out in time. Not in yes. We don't have to speculate. Ex yeah. If hmm. when we actually get the evidence and stuff, for educational purposes, speculation is okay. But also best to uh yeah. Learn what actually happened from people who actually know how to do things, which is not me. So, okay, the pilot lived at Hampton Beach. Okay. Interesting. That will. That'll be interesting to find out. Okay. Well, we will. We'll hopefully be able to learn from that. So, Lewis, Lewis Ranch. We were looking at weather. Oops. Oh, sorry. We get weather from here. So, okay. Uh, oh, God. It's gusting. <laughs> this will be fun. Uh, 020253 Zulu automated 140 degrees, 17 gusting, 24. So, 140. Our runway is. Oopsie, oopsie, oops. Um, 1331. So, 13. Is what we'd be coming in on potentially, probably, maybe. Although we'll also check the tap. Oops, the tap. I guess. Um, will be. Oh gosh. Um. Flight radar. Time. Uh, we'll be taking off at about uh one, two, three. We'll go with O three four five ish. Uh and then it'll take So O four four five so between O four hundred and O five hundred. Still one three zero one five zero. So yes, we'll likely be landing the one three zero. What am I looking at? <laughs> there. Uh, so we're probably going to cross over the airport, left downwind, and boom in. Sounds right. Again. 1.3 miles we may, we have to stay in inside yeah and we'll be looking for no lights oh low intensity runway lighting on 13 and 31 okay okay
And then again, 1120, minimum safe altitude uh, from the Vortac for 25 nautical miles. It's 2,500 feet. Uh, missed approach, climbing left turn, 2,500 direct to the Vortac. Hello, hello. Thank you for following Mods Wanted. <laughs> Appreciate you being here. Hope you're well. Um, so yes, that sounds about right. We shall file our flight plan. I think, I think. Yes. Does that sound correct? Let me get off of this for a second, I think. And then I'll get this up here. I think that'll be fine. So we'll boop and a boop. All right. So, uh, and I guess look at all the luck. <gasps> no! For the love of God, but also, okay, fine. Wait. Okay, that's fine. Well, we have no ATC again. Oh, darn. That's okay. Again, right seat is going to be questionable, as usual, so. Ah. Aircraft type, C-152. Light equipment, alpha. Departure, I have already forgotten. Two Tango X-Ray 4. Two Tango X-Ray 4. Off block. Uh, what a shame. What a, what, what a shame. Oh, the ATC. Oh, yes, exactly. Oh, darn. I, I do. I get... <laughs> Hello, by the way. How's it going? Um, uh, I get so nervous. And again, especially because practicing the right seat flying and that is just not not as good as the, as the left seat flying um so yeah it's, i'll get some more experience with that under my belt um and i'll be less less nervous about having the atc again so tango tree zero tango tree zero uh on route time uh, zero, zero, two, niner. Oops. Two, niner. Fuel endurance, oh, four hundred. Uh, route details, we're going by that Vortec, go, Cotula, Cotula, Cotula. Um, remarks, as always, get out of jail free card, new tro, new to, <laughs> do they even read that? <laughs> All right. November, Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, IFR, C-152, Light, Alpha, 2, Tango, X-Ray 4. Yes, 2, Tango, X-Ray 4. Um, 0345, Zulu. Yeah, it should be fine. 5,000 feet, airspeed 105, uh, T, Tango, Tree 0. Oops. Uh, on route time, 0029er, fuel endurance, 0400. Route details via... Charlie Asuka Tango. New two vets. <laughs> I will never not put that in. Okay, excellent. Oh, definitely could have. Oh, hang on. Um, get that in. Get that in. Get that in. Get that in. Hello, hello. Oh no, did you worry? Most aviation people are nice, right? No, I I know they're absolutely so nice, and I feel bad being so um nervous about it. Uh, but. It has. I have not had a bad experience with with the ATC or av aviation people in general, but I just still get so nervous. Hello, Comic Crazy. Thank you for the raid. How is it going? How is your stream? What were you doing? Welcome, everyone. I hope you're well. Oh, check the things. Okay. Right, right. Yes. I appreciate it. I do. Thank you. I do. I hope your stream went well. We're getting into the sim now. And hello. Hello. <laughs> Doing VAT sim. Yes. Advanced. Oh, oh, we've done VAT sim before. Um, but, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, we have that up. I don't think we need that for now. We have done VAT sim before. The one thing is hello. Hello. Sleazy does it again. Thank you for the follow. 
<laughs> almost felt, I almost as a lady felt like I couldn't say that name, but I, I think we were okay with it. I hope you're well. Um, yes, we have done fat sim. Um, I am, hang on. I have more experience <laughs> than I, I, I tend to give off. Um, but yes, the one, the one thing is I still get nervous. I still get nervous about APC just because I don't, I don't get a lot of, as soon as I said, I have more experience. I have less experience with ATC than I would like to have. I tend to fly uncontrolled to uncontrolled in real life. Um, so I do, I want to do a good job, <laughs> but I don't have a lot of practice, so I get nervous. Um, and now, as, as you can see, as I'm struggling here, trying to get the right seat configuration set up, we are flying right seat, which makes me more nervous because I can't fly a straight line. Kind of. <laughs> With that. So, yes. Is this my mascot? Are you talking about chicken? Yes, this is chicken. My mascot, my co-pilot, um, all of the things. So, yes. <laughs> uh. That's Miss a Fun Fun Network. It is. I absolutely enjoy it. And when I'm not, when I'm not able to, ooh, are we going to use the pants? I'm talking about the plane. Hang on. I'll, I'll get that up. Oh, we didn't practice our craft clearance. Sorry. One second. Uh, not that one. We'll get back to that. Ugh, sorry. What am I doing? I'm looking for paint. Where's paint? We need paint. It is. I absolutely love that, Sim. Everybody's so lovely. And it's really good practice. I just do. I get so, I get so excited. I know I shouldn't, but I do. Because I want to do a good job. And I tend to make little, little oopsies. <laughs> All right. So we have our C. Uh, and then we'll put our T over here. Is that good? Does that look good? T. Perfect. Uh, craft. Cat. And then our er. And then our f. Perfect. Okay, so we are going to be cleared to boom. Uh, oops, that could be down just a little bit. We're getting cleared to, again, I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can't walk a straight line? Alright, well, you don't need to have controllers telling you what to do there, so that works out, I guess. It might be Deputy Dog if it's in Houston. You think he controls that area? Yes, he is around in there. Uh, ATC did go offline though. So I am not, I am not aware if Deputy Dog is controlling right now. M maybe if we say his name three times, he'll show up. Deputy Dog, Deputy Dog, Deputy Dog. We'll see if it works. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this in here so that I remember it. Two Tango X-Ray four, two C-O-T. And I'm sorry, I feel like I've been all over the place. I, I, I do. I I get nervous about it, but then I miss it when I'm not able to... The, the VAT sim. I miss that sim when I'm not able to do it for a while, when I have to, like, practice other things or, yeah, that sort of thing. Um, and, and, and it is. It's just, it's such a weird, <laughs> a weird thing. Ooh, nice, nice and bold. And then, yeah, so I, ooh, that's definitely not what we wanted to do. We are not being cleared to there. We are being cleared to Tango Tree Zero. Oopsie daisy. Gosh darn it, you little. But I can't think. Okay, so we go like this, and we go, we are getting cleared from to Tango X Ray 4, which is. Lewis Ranch to the Cotula VOR to um, that uh, Tango Tree Zero, which I should probably look at. Where are we going? Pears all, Pears all, Pears all, McKinley Field. Um, altitude, we are. I put it over here, so ex. Oops, expect. 5,000 frequencies will be given. Um, well, so 122.8. Two 
eight, and then we can underline it. That and that. Okay. So what happens is they'll give us our clearance. They'll say, uh, we'll call them up. We'll be like, uh, whoever we're talking to. Let me look. Houston Center. We'd have to talk to them on the phone, it appears. Or we get our, we get it in the air, which would be probably, potentially, maybe, according to Kotula, Houston Center would be 134.6. So we'd potentially, hopefully, get it in the air, if it's not IFR on the ground. Um, and we would call them up in the air, and we'd say, uh, Houston Center, Cessna Hotel 31... Delta One, just off of Lewis Ranch, two Tango X-Ray Four, uh, at or climbing to five thousand, or at five thousand or two thousand five hundred climb five thousand, and then they'd say, uh, squawk this and some other stuff. If we got it on the ground, call them. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Um. Craft, you can't remember a, oh, I can't say that word, thing? Yes. <laughs> That's why we practice every time. We must practice. <laughs> um, the ATZ guy you had the other night was a jerk. Oh, no. Not all are nice, but most are. Did you put new Vatsum in your flight plan? Because I feel like that is a uh, get out of jail free card. Um, uh, but yes, that's that is. That's unfortunate. And... I'm not, I'm not uh, condoning any of that or whatever, but there are, there's, I know there are people who go on VATSIM as pilots and try to make ATC's uh, life um, miserable. So if it was, it, 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 everybody's human, so maybe you're just having a bad day, but yeah, it, it is. It's, we're all trying to work together. <laughs> What's going on? This feels like school. I We're practicing. We are practicing. Um, we're just doing our craft clearance quick. We're going over how that is. And then we'll pop in the plane, do pre-flight, and get off the ground. So, hello. How is it going? <laughs> Am I reading that correctly? <laughs> I won't say your name because I'm a lady. But I can, I can be amused by it. <laughs> okay. So, anyway. So, they would tell us all the things. They'd be like, we'd call them up. We'd say, oh, sorry. So on the ground to get our craft clearance, we'd call them up at the end of the runway because nobody else is going to be there or on the ramp. We'd say, uh, uh, Houston Center. We, no, no, no. Okay. Hang on. Cause we're calling them on the phone. So we call them on the phone and I don't know. It's weird. Uh, thank you for the follow Airbus for the win. I appreciate you. We'll get in the plane soon. The very tiny Cessna 152. It's not an Airbus, but it is lovable. Um, so yeah, you call them on the phone and it's a slightly different uh, like thing because you're not doing it on the radio, so you can be a little bit more conversational, but I'd just probably do the same thing. So uh, Houston Center, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1 on the ground at Lewis Ranch, 2 Tango X-Ray 4, open IFR flight plan to Parazol. And then they'd be, they would say, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, cleared to uh, Tango Tree 0 as filed. And then we just do that. And then they would say, uh, climb, maintain 3,000, expect 5,000, one zero minutes after departure. Can you even see that? I think you can see that. Um, frequency 1 to 2, well, it would be 134.6, probably, 134.6. But we're going to say 122.8. Then they give us uh, squawk 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, sorry, actually, it's... Squawk 2200, zero, zero, since that is um, that sim, IFR, uh, when ATC is not on. And then they would say... So if you have to call them on the phone, do they even, do they ever have you hold for... <laughs> I don't know. Because then you'd have to like call them back, wouldn't you? Or or they probably do the whole thing, void time this and whatever, and I don't know. I don't know, actually. So that's that's that. So we would, yeah, I don't know. That's helpful. <laughs> I mean, did you think you? Moin, oh God. Moin, moin. 
Is that an inside joke that I don't understand? <laughs> Should I even be saying that? No, what happened was you logged on and no controller was on. You started taxing with no ATC on. Then they logged on as you were about to take off and he yelled at you because your live weather for some reason was not matching up with theirs even though you had live weather on. Oh, well, that's just rude. Interesting. Oh, well, that sucks. Is uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm sad you had to go through that, uh, but I guess you got experience dealing with less than um, pleasant ATC then. Yay. But no, I have. I have had... Um, I have had that where live weather was on and um, it definitely didn't seem to match like what actual live weather was. So there's was probably different. So weird. I don't, I don't Well, and that's the other thing is like they weren't on anyway. So it's like, I, I know, I know you're supposed to, you're supposed to have live weather on, but th that's partially so that things are like the same for everybody. Right. Which is usually helpful when ATZ is actually online. Right. <laughs> Must be German or must know you from the past. <laughs> and he was just in a mood. Okay, fair, fair enough. And that is. People, we all have our bad days. And that was his, I guess. So, unfortunate, but you deal and you make the best of it. So, yeah, so there's our craft clearance. <laughs> yep. Um, and now we'll get in the plane. Yay! Where is it? Paint goes off. Where is flight sim? There it is. There it is. Okay. So, uh, okay. And so again, about the pants. We have pants. It, it had a little, like, there were some strange things happening with it. Strange things happening with the pants. Um, but we're going to see if it works out. Because they're super cute with the lift. So we will fly with the pants and see what happens. Um, and we'll just, no, we, again, we'll leave, we'll leave the night on. We'll see how pretty it is. Oh, should probably, yeah. Oh no, I have that on. Um, that's good. We won't connect yet. <laughs> um, it stays a mystery. <laughs> spooky, spooky. <laughs> Okay, there's that, and now I need, I have that. Yep, that's good. And then we need that. Yes, that's what I need. That, okay. Good, good, good. Honorary GPS. Um, okay. Make sure the things are working properly. Oh gosh. Oh, this, oops, this way. Excellent, amazing. Track IR, la 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 la. Center. La la la, la la la. Excellent, good, good. And again, I'll make sure it's not too loud or too soft or anything like that. That seems fairly loud, but maybe it's not. Oh, where is my mouse? There it is. We. Oh God, that's strange looking. It's like abstract. You. <gasps> it's so pretty. Okay, so that looks okay. Oh no, it seems like it's a little bit behind. I apologize. It'll, it'll get there. I promise. Okay. Let me know if it is loud. I will turn it down, but I think once it's not the music and it's just the um, sounds of the sim and stuff, then it, it's not as bad. So let's see how this is. We'll be good with that for now. There. Okie dokie. Funny thing was, you had, right, you had live weather on, but you said it was 
IFR weather, then asked you what you had for an altimeter setting, and you read what it was, and it matched what he said, so sorry your computer was not giving you IFR weather. Right. Again, we, we did. We flew... We were flying toward Af Oshkosh. Hello. Um... Uh, on Thursday, and there were there were legit storms happening at Oshkosh, and our weather was definitely not giving that on our way. So it, it is. It's just stuff happens, and oh my god, oh my god, <gasps> it's so pretty. <laughs> uh, oh, excellent. Okay, all right. The procedure is not authorized at night, so we must. You. Um, yeah. So yeah, I guess I don't, I don't, I don't know how ATC works, like what they have on their end. So I don't, I don't know how, like what, where they get theirs versus where the sim gets it. Okay. So we are doing the things. We're doing pre-flight. And again, okay, so. In real life, I am currently training to be a uh, CFI. So apologies in advance for the horrible flying. I promise I fly better in an actual plane. Get that out of the way. So I'm going to try-ish to go through everything that I'm supposed to be going through. And I probably should. Oh, yeah, I guess. I forgot we're actually flying from the right seat today. <laughs> okay, this is fine. So, this is what we do. Uh, uh, person. Uh, chicken. Pretend chicken is our guinea pig student. Because um, he's not a student. I'm not teaching you guys anything. I am practicing. That is it. Do not learn anything from me. It is merely practice. You had a tornado a few times over the other day. Oh, how did that go? I hope fine, like, apart from what what is to be expected. I hope it wasn't too bad. Um, okay. So first, we take, we take a picture of the hubs and the tack. Click, click, to make sure that we remember. Um, and then we have evidence for later. Uh, and then what we do is we, battery goes on put our, oops, don't need those. Pito heat will check, nav light, strobe, beacon, taxi landing. <laughs> Flaps are over here. Okay, this is fine. So, uh, one more, oops, one more, oops. There, perfect. That's where we want to be. Um, why is the carb heat out? Okay. Um, check our fuel. We will definitely fill up um, before we leave. Move there. Okay. Now we go outside the plane. We check our lights. Lights are good. Strobe is good. Red light's good. It's easier to check the lights at night. Not a real plane. <gasps> Isn't the moon the other direction? <gasps> Where is the moon? There's the moon. What am I looking at over there? <laughs> are, are those just like lights? Like orbs in the sky? Okay. All right, our lights are working. Sorry, ramp people, for blinding you. That's not the correct button. I'm sorry. This is the correct button inside. Uh, grasp the pitot tube. I swear that I... Did I did I forget to put the cover and stuff on? God damn it. Sorry. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. What? Uh, we're probably gonna have to fix that. What? <laughs> Wait, hang. What? I am so confused. Um, all those are off. We'll see what happens, I guess. I don't know. I almost feel like it's 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 the the plane with the pants. Cause the other one works fine. 
grasp the to feel that heat, turn it off. Um, we're going to quick um, do some maintenance or take it to the maintenance. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's not right. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Like, do I charge the battery too? I don't know. <laughs> sure, just in case. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay. We'll just leave that charging for now. You were at work, so you don't know. Okay, sounds good. Hope it was. Where was I can't say because I'm a lady? Exactly, exactly. And I said them anyway. I'm sorry. I can't. God dang it. Sorry. That's probably why. I know I'm supposed to press something and my mind keeps thinking it's that button. It's not that button. It's this button. So now we go out here and we check all the things. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm doing a walk around. Excuse me. So uh, what we do, this is, this is what I do. So you, you have your checklist. You follow your checklist. But... So I start with the static port. Check our static port. We make sure that's nice and clear because we want to make sure that our instruments work. Check our vents to make sure nothing's going to like get into the cabin or like mess with our intake of things. Vents. Pitot tube drain hole. Again, instruments want to be um, workable. Um, fuel vent. We want to make sure that um, the... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know how to put this properly. Um, the, the, um, the, the, it, it, so that it doesn't get uh, clogged and then, um, it does weird things with fuel. <laughs> I'm going to have to get the proper wording on that one. Drain a little bit of fuel from there. We're looking for sediment, uh, the nice blue color, uh, put it up against something white. It'll show up, uh, and... So yeah, getting rid of that sediment as well as any water which shows up as a little bubble at the bottom of the uh, tube. Check the tire, check the uh, flaps and ailerons, uh, wiggle them to make sure that the control lock is out, make sure you didn't uh, miss that. Uh, give, the, give the rods a little wiggle as well, don't take that out of context to make sure that they have maneuverability. Antennas. Make sure your fuel caps are on. Um, uh, more antennas. Baggage door. Make sure that's shut. Moving the hand. Elevator. Make sure that that wiggles. Another control lock. Make sure there's nothing missing. Again, make sure there's nothing missing. If I miss that. Antennas. Um, antenna, or sorry, the elevator and trim tab. Does the trim tab move with... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I can't get close. Art. Does it move? I can't tell if it's moving. I feel like it should move more if it is moving. Maggie you laugh so hard. <laughs> I, 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 I want to apologize, but I feel like that's not something I should apologize for. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry that it's unladylike things that I'm saying. Unintentionally. There. Um, yes, making sure of the things. Aileron on this side and flap on that side. Uh, check to make sure nothing's missing. Again, wiggle the rods to give them to make sure they have maneuverability. This is just what we say. I'm sorry it comes out wrong. Drain a little bit of fuel from that one as well. So, oh, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, so again, what? <laughs> Let, uh, one of my lessons last week, we went over pre-flight, teaching pre-flight stuff. So what instructor said is do that side, say all the things, and then I say, okay, now you, student, do the other side. Um, so then the student would do those things. Excellent. Amazing. And then I would make, do, like, recheck them to make sure it's all good. And then um, we go to things that are, again, um, not symmet symmetrical. They're just the one thing. Check the leading edge of the propeller for any mix or dense um, find the largest one on the propeller and just make sure that's the only one <laughs> the large th that's make sure that that stays the largest one um, 
uh, um, if if there's an alternator belt, check that. Make sure that's nice and tight. Uh, the air intake, make sure that's not wiggly. Sorry, did I say air intake? Exhaust port, make sure that's not wiggly, because uh, we don't want that to have holes in it. Because yeah, we're not. We won't. We won't get into that yet. Um, yes. Air intake, make sure that's clear, because we want air to be able to get into the engine and around. Sorry, air around the engine. Hang on. That one is in. Hang on. Yes, that one is into the engine. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. I'm. I I'm new to the CFI training. If that wasn't obvious, <laughs> so I apologize. Nose wheel clearance, excellent, amazing. Make sure that tire is good as well. Uh, and then that's good, excellent. Um, and we're gonna fill up right away. Oh oh oh, sorry sorry sorry. Hang on hang on hang on. Then there is the oil that you check and oh god di sorry this freaking button. So we check the oil. Do the little dipstick. Uh, 6.2, that's good. We want it between, like, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't remember. <laughs> Above, hang on. So the plane that I flew a lot, my home airplane, I should say, was like, five and a half. If it's above five and a half, it's good. But I think the plane that I'm flying now is like, if it's around five, it's good. But I'm not sure. So I will. I'll have to. I keep getting them mixed up. I apologize. I'll. I'm working on it. Um. You missed the combo the other day where Sparky Pilot was talking about how you shocked her med workers with what she said. It was hilarious. Yes, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I, I, I do. I definitely have terrible, terrible cockpit vocabulary. So that's why it does end up almost coming out. I do try to be proper in most situations, but it's like when you're at the airport and you're in the airplane, it's just, you just let it fly. <laughs> so it, 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 it is. <laughs> I appreciate it. I knew I liked Sparky. <laughs> I do. I love Sparky. Uh, it says normal. It's always something different when you're standing at the airplane. Right. And it, uh, it is. It's, that's why I, did, I started in one plane and flew that for like a year and a half to two years. Did my private, did my instrument training, and most of my commercial training in that before I started getting into more planes. So I did. I got really super comfortable in just that plane. And so I do. It's like I revert back to that stuff and then I get, yeah, I am. I, I've been flying other planes. I'm at a different airport now for the most part. So there's a few planes over there that I'm flying. So I am getting that experience, but it is. It's just it, it's hard to keep track of all of them. Especially because you do. You try to look in the POH or on the checklist or something like that, right? And But when you're training in it and you're learning from it or with an instructor, they're like, well, the checklist says this, but really it's this. Like the happy spot for the oil is not what it says here. It's where the scratch mark is on the dipstick. So it's like, yes, I would like to look at the POH and on the checklist and stuff, but then there's stuff for this particular plane that you don't end up doing or you don't follow that. Yeah. I, I have feelings about this. She's dreaming right now. Oh, gosh. We, uh, I have. I've gotten to raid Sparky once, but it's like we are. We're usually either raiding at the same time or streaming at the same time or, yeah. So it is. She is. She's, she's great as well. Um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying leave and go over there. But at some point, you should definitely check her out if you have not checked out Sparky. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, I guess you can. We will get into the plane quickly, pretty soon, maybe. Um, and all this is out wide. Oh, I'm trying to think. Did this? Oh, I'm trying to remember. Did, have these always open? I also have a question for anyone who might know. We will uh, finish this first, though. 
We did the things. Um, getting in the plane. Okay, so I had a thought. It's it's a weedy sort of a thing where it's not necessary, but I'm curious. So, right. Throttle. Open is in, right? And, like, so full throttle is in. Full mixture is in. Full cabin air is out. Full cabin heat is out. Full carb heat is out. Why? <laughs> Why wouldn't you want all of the full things in one direction or another. Do you know what I'm saying? So like if you wanted full throttle, full mixture that way, why wouldn't you have full carb heat in, full carb heat like that, full, you know? You know what I'm saying? Or like full out, full out, full out, full out, full out. I'm gonna ask my CFI, but he's just gonna look at me and shake his head and be like, either I don't know or it doesn't matter, but I'm curious. We'll keep that off, out, in, in for now. Um, okay, so. We get into the plane, um, and then we, um, oh, yep, no, no, we're okay. We're not unmasking yet. Passenger brief. Seatbelts, er, no talking during takeoff and landing. Seat, well, I should also probably, I do need to start practicing the, the like, full S-A-F-E-T-Y safety briefing at some point, because I will be taking, like, actual passengers. That sounds weird. I'm going to be flying in, giving rides in an air show at the airport that I fly out of at some point. Um, so I do need to start doing that, but we won't right now. Student. Not student. Uh, guinea pig. Guinea pig. We'll just say guinea. Guinea chicken. Guinea hen. Oh my God, he's a guinea hen. We'll call you a guinea hen when it's student time. Okay. So guinea hen, we do the thing. We did that. No talking to take up and landing. Seatbelts on at all times. Exit the doors to the left and right for now. Make sure they're shut and locked. Excellent. Nice and shut and locked. Then we circuit breakers. But a little, little, But let's actually check them. Are we good? Boop, boop, boop. Good. Excellent. Um, uh, circuit breakers. Uh, then we. Oop. Boop, boop, and boop, boop. Boop, boop, there. Boop, boop, and boop, boop. Brake pedal test. Yeah, good. All right, so now we move into it. Oh, seat track, back and lock, back and lock, chicken. And then we... Avionics are off. Sorry, autopilot's irrelevant. Avionics are off. Carb heat's in. Beacon goes... Oops, that's not the beacon. Beacon goes on. Parking brake goes off. Prime it. One, two, and then we, um, yep, yep, yep. Here. Mixture full rich. Throttle slight. Put the brakes on. Clear left. Clear right. Clear ahead. Oops, I got to do this by now. Clear back. Clear prop. Nume. Nume. Um, and then we, student, now you press, you put those buttons on. That sounds slightly strange, but we'll see what happens. And then push the key all the way to the side. And I think this is one where I just have to go like that, like a professional pilot. Control E. Okay. Excellent. Amazing. Oh, yeah, we were supposed to fill up with it. <laughs> we totally did that. Okay. So, we did that. Um, start of that. We'll start up our stuff. Start up our stuff. Oops. Start up our oops stuff. Start up our stuff. And why not stick that on as well? Uh, okay, then we'll put... No, we won't put our strobe on right now. Taxi. Oops, wrong button. Flaps go up. Why is that my... We're gonna go like this for now. That's not the correct button. There we go. Design philosophy. F philosophy. Philosophy. Airplanes are mostly designed to the flight state. So, for example, most... Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, for example, most levers and important switches face the same direction. 
And you think that Cessna decided to have the car Pete not as a standard flight state. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so I appreciate that because I did. I wasn't sure if it was the parking brake goes off. I wasn't sure if it was a deliberate thing or... Okay, I have my brakes on. Thank you. I promise I had my brakes on. That wasn't my fault. I did. I wasn't sure if it was actually a legitimate thing and like an actual legitimate question to ask or if I was just being, yeah, weedy. So interesting. Thank you for that. I do. I appreciate it. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay. Did the thing. Um, then we got our weather. Oh, and you know what? We can also, we can and should also... not gonna be flying straight we're gonna try we're really gonna try okay yeah um bring the mixture back a little bit don't want to foul the plugs on the ground meat tar uh okay we'll find a meat tar somewhere uh otherwise we will be using the windsock right there but we also So, Laredo, 27 nautical miles away. We'll see if it jives with our altimeter. Or, yeah, with the field elevation. Kilo, Lima, Romeo, Delta. The second. Oh, God, it is. It's August, people. <laughs> what? How is it August? 0256 Zulu. Uh, 120 at 15 knots. So, we will be taking off, likely, runway. 17. Whoosh, whoosh. Um... We'll do a left downwind departure. Uh, one, two, zero at one, five knots. Uh, have a little bit of a crosswind. Uh, 10 statute miles visibility clear. Three, four degrees Celsius to one degrees Celsius. Dew point. Two, nine or nine or six. We'll put that in our Colesman window. Remarks AO2 differentiates precipitation. Sea level pressure is 1014.2 millibars. Temperature is 33.9 degrees Celsius. Uh, dew points 20.6 degrees Celsius. The one with the five has something to do with pressure. I don't remember what specifically it is, though. I still have, I have to look at it again. Um, so, yes, we will make sure that jives. 299 or 6, potentially. Oh, look at that. Look at how uh, direct it is. Um, so, we're looking at this. 299 six boom does that jive we want an um a reading an elevation of 540 to four looks like it's good so we'll go with that uh we need the cotula 114 oh my god oh it almost has it in there why that's so strange how does it almost have it in there and is there any other one that we should put in there? We're gonna put Laredo in there. Uh, 117.4, just in case. There, okay. So that's good and our bearing that we're going to get on to is going to be about 2-1. Yes, 2-1. Okay. Good, good. Um, all right. We are there-ish. Hello. Why? We are here. Let me get the, um, oh no, it doesn't have one, does it? Procedure. Dang it. Uh, 
aerial map. Um, oh, that's a road. That's, that's a runway. What is happening? What? You cross the runway uh, as you're driving in. That's a road road. Weird. That's a straight up road road through the runway. Okay, that's good to know. All right. Um, we'll watch for cars, I guess. Okay. So we'll face into the wind. Not there, sorry. Oh God. Oh, uh, hello, excuse me. Um, oops, uh, excuse me, you should duck. <gasps> it just got her hair, that's okay. Thank you. <gasps> Look, see, see, see. They're straight up gonna be. Nah, nah. They're 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 gonna be crossing as we're taking off. I know it. Okay, so um, now we. Did, did the things, did the things, did the things. Um, again, we're doing it like private and commercial pilots, so we won't worry about IFR stuff. So we, the next thing is we check the, um, fuels on both, trim for takeoff, flight controls. We push it in. We turn up mine, bring it back to the other side, up yours, bring it forward, and then we, oops, check behind, and up ours. Perfect, our flight controls are checked. Um, and then we, flight controls are correct. And then we, primer is in and locked, mixture is, we'll put that, we'll put, we'll put that in. Howdy, howdy, how's it going? I hope well. I did the thing. Yes, yeah, so we'll put the mixture in a little bit more for our check. What is that? Why? Oops. Yes. So now we bring the throttle up to 1700. Uh, we mag to the left one. Watch that drop. And one notch back to the right. Two notches to the left. Watch that drop. Two notches back to the right. That's not what I'm doing. Um... RP goes out. Watch that drop. Great, excellent, excellent. Watch that drop and back. Then we check our ammeter and we check our that thing. Our vacuum. We check our oil temperature, pressure, and then we whoop the throttle out quickly. Check that idle. And go. All right. So, then we uh, Flammable, yes, thank you. Do you mind not coming this way? Hey, <laughs> shoo. <gasps> I am frightened. <laughs> Why is it bouncing? <laughs> okay, so we, again, so how I usually uh, do the things because the airports that I usually fly around and into and out of are not usually that busy. So when we do the oh thank god okay was it because i took my feet off the brakes interesting i usually go like straight up to the runway um something about an automobile centipede anyway so we're gonna go right up uh and we it's pointed that way throttles over here oh god Sorry, sorry. We're doing we're doing things properly. We're doing, uh, but we do need to do. Uh, okay, hang on. Before I forget. Okay, throttle's coming back. There. Oh my god. That would not happen in real life. Hopefully, likely. Call. Get our clearance. 
And then we would... Oh, oh god, we have to say back to Hexy Bell, don't we? Oh god, uh, because we're on that sim, right? Where's the button? It is right. Uh, okay, so where are we? And it's a private strip, so... Lewis Ranch. Lewis Ranch traffic? Oh god, where are we going? We're going this way. Lewis Ranch traffic, Cessna, Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, back taxi 1, 3, Lewis Ranch. Nobody else is flying here, so we don't, they don't know if we got the wrong runway. It's 1, 7. Words I can't say. Frank, that's because I'm a lady. Where are we going? Okay, 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 okay. We're doing the right things. We're doing the right things. All right, we get on that center line, we put the yoke in the middle. I'm not cheating, I keep, I keep scooching myself this way, trying to get into the left seat, but we're not doing that. Yoke, yoke. We are definitely right of center line. Throttle, throttle. Oh god. Alright. Turn, 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 turn. Okay. It is it is kind of unfortunate that my yoke hand also needs to be my mouse hand, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, 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 okay. We're a little okay, we're a little right of center line. Let's check. That's not the right button. We are, see? We're just slightly left of center line. Right of center line, because I know directions. God damn it. Mitar, Kilo, uh, Charlie Oscatango, uh, the second at 0353 Zulu, automated, 14011 knots. Excellent. 10 statute miles, clear. 33 degrees Celsius, 20 for dew point, 3001. Remarks, AO2 differentiates precipitation. Sea level pressure, 101542. 33.3 .3 temperature, 20.0. Uh, Celsius. So we will change that once we get closer, once we're passing the Vortac for Kotula. Thank you. So yeah, so that'll, that, and we're actually supposed to use that altimeter for our um, landing, because um, that's what the approach plate says. So yeah, thank you. Uh, so then again, we're keeping on center line. We do our check. Um, so green, 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 flaps up, carb heat out, trims good, fuels on both, landing light, strobe lights we can put on, okay. So this did, this did change now, so we will put it to field elevation. which is definitely going to be closer to what you said. 299.8 for now. Okay, so. Yoke. The mouse. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay. Um, I need to use this for my... God, can't. I might have to switch my... My, 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 my key for transmissions, transmitting for right seat. Anyway, okay. So, Lewis Ranch traffic. Left downwind departure to the northeast. Because we are going to get on that VOR thing because we are cleared directly to the VOR from the airport itself until we get in the air, get a hold of them, and they say clear direct to the VOR from wherever we're at. Yes, I think maybe. Okay. <clears throat> Lewis Ranch traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1, departing 17, left downwind departure to the northeast. Lewis Ranch. Okay, 
So, we um, gently should fly an F-18. Uh, I can barely fly this from the right seat. Um, at some point, at some point, we'll start playing with other planes. Until such time. Oh god, uh, right, uh, crosswind, correction, checking our speed, hello, hello, I will check that in a second, when I'm not going to crash us. Uh, okay, so we, we did, uh, crosswind, oopsie daisy, oopsie, oopsie, gentle, 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 a little close, little close, little high. Cheating with the left hand, don't take that out of context, oops, yeah, words I can't think of that, they, oh my god, gentle, 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 uh, one, seven is, oh god, where we're supposed to, oh god feels so weird. Sorry. Um, uh, so 100, 200, 300, 400. Once we hit 400 feet AGL, we can... God damn it. Okay. 1-7 we're supposed to be at. Okay. Fly it. Just fly it. Just, just, just fly it. Just fly the air. Just fly the air. Just fly the aircraft. Okay. We're going to make our turn. Sorry. Thank you for the follow. Okay, I, uh, Doka MC, I hope I said it correctly, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, uh, I appreciate you, hope you're well. And if I didn't actually say thank you for the fall, thank you for the fall. <laughs> I can't remember things. Do I have a YouTube channel? I do. I have a, um, YouTube channel just of VODs that I'm also streaming on at the moment, um, as well. That's not very nice. Um, and then I have a main YouTube channel that I have not utilized yet, because... Yeah, I haven't been able to... Oh, hang on. Lewis Ranch traffic, Cessna Hotel, Tree 1, Delta 1, left downwind, 1-7, departing to the northeast. Lewis Ranch. Um, yes, I haven't been able to use that one because I would... Oops. Gentle. Oh, my God. I want to do in-real-life flight videos, among other things. I just haven't been able to, like, properly edit things as well as not dox myself for the IRL stuff. So at some point I will use the, the main YouTube channel as well. Uh, but for now, um, yeah, just the, just, just the VOD channel is in use. I was wondering if I should start streaming on the main channel. Um, I put up a poll on <laughs> uh, the archive channel. Uh, hang on. And we want to close in on that. No, continue, continue, continue. Climbing. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. So yeah, because I didn't want to overload with notifications with like the going live as well as posting the VOD afterward. But apparently there wasn't, nobody feels too strongly about it. So we might just, yeah, keep the streaming on there. So yeah, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Um, can I post the YouTube channel in the Discord? I could certainly do that. Uh, remind me if I forget. Um, and it is in my, what's, what's the thing? In the about section on my Twitch. Um, but yes, I will also put it on there as well. I'll figure out where, I guess. And then yes, yes, it is also in the description. So, yes. <laughs> I did, I have a couple of in real life videos that I did edit. But I, 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 I talked to um, uh, people that I trust, and they're like, yeah, you could definitely dox you from this. And I'm like, oh, darn it. So, yeah. I still have to figure that out. Um, what? Sorry, hello. Thank you. Um, what the fuck? Oh, sorry. Hang on. God dang it. Okay. Sorry. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. No. What? Oh my God. This is why I'm glad that we're not with AT. So I guess we're just gonna aim for two one because oh God. 
According to my four flight, that was definitely not the radial to choose. At least when it comes to track. But... And thank you for the follow up, Mason Martineau. I appreciate you. I'm sorry, I apologize for myself. How does being a mod work? Uh, what do you mean? Like for Twitch? Um, uh, the streamer makes you a mod and you do mod things. <laughs> hello, hello. Something's being, oh God, strange and I'm not seeing things. Sorry, hang on. Oh, and Doke MC, thank you for the follow. For some reason, it didn't come up. And thank you for the YouTube subscription. <laughs> Strange. Yeah. It, sorry. Um, the, the follow. The, the follow didn't come up on there, so I apologize for that. Oh, did I? I did see it. Okay. I'm sorry. I did get you. I'm sorry, things are going strangely. So um, I'm gonna follow my VOR, I guess, even though, but wait, hang on. It is. I'll, I will. I will show you. I will show you on little nav map once that. <sighs> yes. I'm sorry. I do. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for putting up with my. Oh, and I should be. I should have these on. So don't cheat. Um. <clears throat> but it, it. It is the 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 radial that I had directly from the airport to the VOR was apparently not what I should have put in there. So that's interesting. So I'm just trying to make sure that I have the correct VOR. I'm sure I do. I'm not res... We have identified it. Excellent. So it is good. It is working. Center the, center the needle. Yes, that's what I was trying to do, but it was going. It was. I had just the, the, the not a good radial. Um, so, so again, so I'm using four flight. And so I put um, from the airport to the VOR in there, and then I check, I click it, and it gives me um, 21 degrees magnetic. So that's what I put in was 21 degrees. And so that's what I was going to um, because I would have been cleared directly to the VOR from the airport, which would have been that radial or so I thought. And so I was trying to center that needle at the 2-1 and then I look at my foreflight and I'm going way past the line. So yeah. But I don't know. I did the VR. We, we did. We did. And it is. It is good. And your messages were late. Okay. So good. <laughs> Great minds think alike. We're getting it. We're getting it done. We're getting it done. Um, okay. So we're, we're getting on course here now. And apparently that course is, or oops, oops, is, oops, about 16 degrees. We'll do that then. Coming up on our 5,000. So we will. Oh my god, I'm using my left freaking hand. <sighs> cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. I like pumpkin though. Depending. Oops, uh, nose down. Get that airspeed. Oh God. 
pumpkin muffins are awesome. Agreed. Absolutely. I wanted to say it is getting to that time of year. Pumpkins and, and apples and 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 and, and yeah. <laughs> it's already August. I can't. I can't even believe. Uh, I need to chill out a little. No, no, no. Okay, gentle, gentle freaking corrections. Gentle, gentle corrections. Um. So we get back to our proper that thing. Getting back to our proper. Uh, okay, looking out. So, like on one hand, center, center, center. It is. It's so freaking weird flying from this seat. You're so used to flying from the other seat. That's fine. That's why we do this. Getting back on that course. Back on there. Okay, excellent, amazing. All right. That was probably a little bit much. Okay. So while we're heading to the VOR and hopefully <laughs> in a straight line already filled up um so yes i am surprisingly working toward my cfi certificate in real life my certificated flight instructor certificate so um i've been trying to figure out how to the, what we've been mainly working on is trying to get me to be able to create lesson plans because that's kind of a big it's kind of a big thing so i've been working Worked on one of them and it went confusingly. Worked on another one, it went somewhat all right. It, 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 was, it was less a lesson plan. I don't know, I was still working on finding my footing and how I was gonna do it. So now we found out I like whiteboards. So um, we went back to the first lesson, so principles of flight, and I've been working on that for this week's lesson. And so what my instructor had me do, because we did, we had we had a weird lesson day where we ended up at a different airport, went and picked up a different pilot who got stranded um, for maintenance reasons, flew him elsewhere, went back to that airport. That airport we did our ground lesson at, um, and that had a whiteboard. So he went over how he does um, the principles of flight or how his yeah, how his is sort of laid out. And what he does is he talks about each, the lift, the weight, the thrust, the drag, all separately with all of the different components of that one in that talking bit. So first he talks about the thrust, talks about the drag. So yes, so thrust, four left turning tendencies, among other things, drag, all the types of drag and stuff. Uh, then goes to the lift, everything included with that, and then goes to the weight. Yeah, so that's what I've been working on. Got through the thrust, boom, got it, excellent, nice. Drag, boom, got it, excellent, nice. Lift, boom, got it, excellent, nice, because I had worked on that mostly the first time. There were snags, but then I got to the weight. I thought I was gonna, I, I blasted through that in one day, those three in one day, got to the weight. I have been working on that quite a bit because that's not something that has come up as much, I think, as the other ones. So I'm a little less comfortable talking about that and understanding that stuff. Hello, hello. Thank you for the follow Emirates pilot. I appreciate it. I apologize for the flying. Um, I am not used to the right seat, but we're trying. <laughs> I 
have to go now sounds good have a good flight thank you i hope you have a great whatever it's going to be for you hope to see you again soon and all the good things so yes appreciate you having been here um so yeah so have been working on the weight finally was able to get through the stability maneuverability controllability and then and then it got into like the load factors and like the VG diagram and stuff like that. And trying to figure out where to place that. Then I realized there was something in the lift category that I did not talk about. So I went into that and then it, it, there was a snag there where I couldn't quite figure out how I wanted, where I wanted to put that, how I wanted to word that. Because you do, as, as you're trying to figure out how to say things, how to potentially at some point teach someone else about the things that you already know, you, you realize you may have some misunderstandings about things, um, and the way that you, the way that you may understand things might not come out properly um, in words. So there, there's a lot of carefully wording things to make sure you're not giving the wrong impression or. Yeah, any of that law of primacy stuff where they're gonna hear you say this thing because... I'm trying to think of how to... So the one explanation, the one, the one issue that I had at one point. So lift. What I had heard, what I had read in various places was that lift is perpendicular to the cord line. Again, I'm not teaching anything. I'm explaining why things are hard to teach. <laughs> So trying to figure out how to teach it, lift is perpendicular to the cord line. And then as I'm reading in the principle, uh, the, the fac, the oh my God, pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge, the lift is perpendicular to the flight path. Two very different things. It doesn't seem like it, like it, it yeah. So instead of, so I had to go into a deep dive on that, like, okay, why is it one and one is the other? Because the vertical component of lift is perpendicular to the flight path. The total force of lift ends up being about perpendicular to the cord line because of drag, because the two, the two components of lift end up being vertical and backward because lift vertical and drag backward and that total force ends up being about perpendicular to the cord line. Kind of, I think. I still have to talk to my instructor about that. So don't, again, don't take anything I'm saying as like legitimate, but it's stuff like that where you see, lift can mean like two different things. So you think about it one way and you try to then like tell people about that, but it turns out that how you thought that it was is actually kind of different. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the IRL stuff that I've been working on at the moment. <laughs> it's a chore, but I, it is. It's, it's a lot of fun and I feel like I'm doing, I am understanding things a lot better now when I actually get the correct information and I am able to then articulate it correctly. So that is, that was one of my, that was my main reasoning for actually getting the CFI so that it makes me a better pilot. I'm tricking myself into actually doing the CFI stuff. Yeah. So that will, that'll be, that'll be a little bit yet. I'm still pretty fresh with it, but we're making progress. Hopefully we'll see. I was, I was, I scheduled I worked on scheduling next lesson with instructor and I said, yeah, I should have the uh, principles of flight ready to go. Cause I did, I only had weight left to do. I had blasted through the first three forces of flight. So I figured that one I'd be able to work through. I had some time for it. And then I'd be able to practice a little bit through the whole thing. Um, and then, yeah, those things happen. So we'll see, we'll see how much practice I get. Where's our DME? There it is. That's 3.7, correct? 
3.7 miles. Yep, that's about right. Perfect. So we should get properly on court. Oh, and then shoot. Uh, we need to um, he he, um, okay, um, have the uh, approach up and give ourselves direct to the um, approach map. Oh! <laughs> We are going direct to the initial approach fix because the initial approach fix is the VOR. Excellent, amazing. So if anyone is interested, I'm gonna do a silly and we are going to There, okay. That's good, that's good. Okay, there. There is the approach. Um and then there okay so we're getting close so we're not gonna do too many too much adjusting um, and then we need to be at or above 2500 but we are going to start descending because well hang on no we'll have we'll have 10 miles so We'll stay at the 5,000. Um, it's okay that it's that far there because we're getting into the cone of confusion. So we don't want to make too, too many adjustments. Um, and then we want to be on 352. So we'll switch to 352 at about half a mile we'll go with. And then on our way in, we'll brief the approach one more time. Oh, uh, our weather <laughs> was 3002, Kotula, currently 3001, 140, we'll land on the one, three, question mark. Oh, okay, so now we, 352. Oh, shoot, wrong way, gosh darn it. Oops, so we're a little bit that way, so we'll go this way. Now we're gonna start our descent, and we're gonna send at the bottom of the green arc at about 90 knots. Getting, oops, getting over. I think I was leaning on my rudder pedals. Amazing, that's always a good time. Okay. So approach. We're gonna get down. Getting back on course. Oops. Bring that nose up a little. Bit. Trim it out. Left hand for the love. Right hand, I should say. Hello, how is it going? I hope well. Ooh, oh God. We are attempting. <laughs> Why am I hearing strange things? back on track. All right, so we are using the Kotula altimeter. We'll be landing 1-3, so we'll cross over the runway, watching for 1-0, which is feels, 1-0 DME, just feels. Um, and then 1-6 DME, which is manly. And then Majvo, which is 2-1 DME, is our missed approach point. back on our course, coming down to our 2,500 about-ish, so 1,000 feet to go. I think that's okay. Um, and, oops, yep, doing that. 
that. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, again, minimums are 1120 after the 2500. Missed approach is climbing left turn to 2500 direct to the BOR. Keep wanting to take the yoke with my left hand. And I keep, oh my God, I keep on cheating over. We're over here. We're over here. Our straight line is through our yoke. Our straight line is through our yoke. Coming down to 2,500. Because if I am a CFI, I cannot be going like this with the suit. That gets creepy. Um, 2,500, so, so for two, 300, I can do that. Oops. Coming to our 2,500, we're gonna start bringing our, oops, no, 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 no. up on our one zero DME. One six is our final approach fix. Ha 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 ha. Bring it up that oop like there. It's about a mile from our final approach fix we can get our Oh shoot! Um, our missed approach point is two one, so one one is our ten mile. Okay, uh, where are we going? We're in Pearsall. 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 I'm gonna say Pearsall for our traffic. Here's all traffic, Cessna Hotel, Tree 1, Delta 1, 10 miles to the south at 2,500 inbound for runway 13. Here's all. All right, 1, 2, 4 miles to the final approach fix. Stop using my left hand. Uh, dropping that power a little bit, pitching for that airspeed. That was another one of the snaggy things that I found today was the um, the pitching for airspeed, like so climbs while you have to use power. Cause like, I mean, yes, of course, obviously. But then it's like, okay, I'm trying to actually like think through it. I kept turning myself in circles trying to explain it. <laughs> Cause like when you pitch, you, you, you direct more of that uh, power to the upward motion for the upward movement, uh, and then it decreases the speed because of drag, and then, um, yeah, because of drag, then eventually it dissipates the lift because of too much drag, and yeah. And it did, it was just like, it, it, without oversight, it's kind of difficult to, one and a half miles, to make sure that you are saying the right thing. So that is, that's another thing I'm gonna have to talk to my instructor about. Cause I did try to like Google stuff, you know, but it was slightly questionable. 
Pepper is happy. You got to go over a minute. Nice. I would say, how is Pepper? But apparently Pepper is happy. So, excellent. Yay. That makes me happy. Oh, and 1-6, the final approach fix is 5. Okay. So, half mile. We'll get all our... Uh, that. Um, lights are on. Time, gear, tower, power, lights, lights, lights. Got all those things. Got all those things. It would be so cool if you could uh, actually control the pilot-controlled lighting with the VAT sim. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we can start down to 1120, uh, as well as um, make our call. Pairs all traffic, Cessna Hotel 31 Delta 1, five miles to the south at 2300. We'll cross midfield to enter left downwind for runway 13, pairs all. All right, okay, uh, shoot. <clears throat> I'm, uh, okay, one second, one second. Let me get back on where I need to go and then I will check chat again as we're getting to uh, two one. I might land and then I'll check chat because <laughs> I do want to try and do the proper things. Just a little bit, not over a thousand feet per minute. Not over, uh, bring in that throttle back, bring in that throttle back, bring in that throttle back, bring in that throttle back. Uh, getting back there, not using that left freaking hand. Cause we are right seat flyers now. Eleven twenty. That's one, two, three hundred about ish feet. Sent at about ninety knots. Coming up on our thingy. You're trying to make the bed, but he won't let me. Oh no! He wants attention. I get that. Apparently, my, my, my cat has been very attention. Words I can't say because I'm a lady. Attention needy recently. Mish, hello. How is it going? I hope you're well. Oh god. Okay. So we're going this way. We're bringing that power back up. Uh, we're getting to our uh, what's it called? So now we gotta look for the runway. It's a little over that way. We see a beacon, which we shouldn't. 1120, so bringing that, oops, power. So, oh, um, um, well, um, oops, um, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> Making sure we're not doing the thing. 20, we should be able to see the runway. There's the runway. Okay, so now we're gonna say, Oh, um, so at that, okay, never mind. Pairs all traffic, Cessna Hotel 31 Delta 1, crossing midfield to enter left downwind of runway 13. Pairs all. Okay, so couple things. Um, we're a lot lower than we should be when we're crossing midfield. So I didn't, I didn't think about, like, should we... Okay, so n now we need to stay within 22.3 nautical miles. So since we see the airport, no, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it right hand, right hand, right hand. Okay, and we are commercial pilots, so we can drop and pop it and lock whatever that is. <laughs> Oops, nope, not like that, not like that, not like that. 21.7, okay, so not running into the beacon. That would be a good thing to not do that. Um, displace threshold. Keep that in mind. Staying within that 21.3 or 22.3. Oh god, we're just gonna power off 180 this and we're gonna flap it. Oh god, not like that. And we're gonna slip it. Oh, I'll definitely press the that sim button. And now we go, oops, this is fine. This is not fine. There we go. That was a good landing. 
I blame the right seeds. <laughs> We're gonna just come up here. Yeah. With a good. <laughs> ah, yay. Pairs all traffic. Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Clear of runway 13. Pairs all. <laughs> that was a terrible landing, but we stayed within 1.3 nautical miles. Could have gone out a little bit further. I think I think I, I may have been relying on the DME a little bit too much because yeah. So I probably could I probably could have gone out and done a slightly longer approach than that. Um and just definitely yeah, probably should have added flaps in. Probably should have added a notch of flaps definitely at the um, like final approach fix or something. So yeah, I do have a kitty, the meerkat, who welcomes other uh, uh, lovely uh, creatures into the menagerie on my Discord. <laughs> um, you had a landing like that yesterday. You got the black screen. Oh, no! And that's why. Here's the thing. Here's the other thing. A lot of the landings that I, the terrible landings that I do in here would not work in real life. They would not end up that well in real life. But, uh, am I complaining? Yes and no. Uh, okay, we're gonna get off of that sim, and we're just gonna do probably a little bit of pattern work. Maybe we'll go do a little bit of just floating around, practicing our right hand, um, flying less than skills, and then we'll then we'll come back in and call it. Okay, so we will. Yeah, we'll we'll. we'll Set off, set off on our, oh wait, disconnecting. Disconnecting. Okay. We are there and then we're not. Sorry, I'm just, I, I, hang on, I'll get this up. That's weird, sorry. I can't say that, I'm a lady. I've always wondered, so when you file a flight plan, does it actually show on like Simaware? And how do you find that? Oh, that's events. Is it just data? Sorry, I'm just creeping in somewhere for a second. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Free departure? What are you talking about? We made it. <laughs> okay, got it. Interesting. All right. Flight sit or somewhere is no more. You try the DME arc at Oksuk. That was the, like, where it's on that approach. But since we were coming from the VOR, we just didn't. How did it go? Let me put it back up. Oksuke. Yeah, so I did. I thought about, I did think about doing that. But again, since I can already not quite fly properly with the right hand. Um, oh, also, we're going to clean up the airplane first before we frickin' go anywhere. Like, words that I can't say that name. Um, so, yeah, I was. I was like, ooh, usually I'm, usually I go, yes, we're going to do the arc and all the things because it gives us experience. But I'm like, again, our track is already wet spaghetti. <laughs> so, yeah. Flying less than skilled. Yes. Is that another way to say it? Gonna fly like Mish does. <laughs> No, you actually have precision. 
It might be unconventional, but it is precise. <laughs> you and Chunky had a couple of double enders flying down a river tonight, and you're water skiing for about 20 miles. Nice. That sounds like a ton of fun. W what was that for? Just having a good time? Or was there? Was there something specific for it? And it didn't go badly? Nice. Arc wasn't very good. You were hand flying the 152, but the night was, <gasps> and you did it at night. Nice. Excellent. Okay. That's wonderful. Oh, it sounds beautiful. And it is flying. Which 152? Oh my God, where's Ducky? We had Ducky at, no, wait, wait, wait. There's Ducky. We had Ducky. I am sorry, Ducky. Forgive me, Ducky. See, he's judging me now. I'm sorry. I had you in, 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 locked up in your room. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm... Ugh. Yes. Do you, do, you, do you have this 152? Hope, hope, hope. <laughs> but yes, it is. It's, it, 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 it. The, one, the 152 in general is a little, a little uh, questionable. Oh, you want me to park there? I don't think so. I do not think so. Wind was kind of high. Yeah, okay, yeah. And the arc was wobbling between 12 and 9. Hey, hey, it, it, it's, it's, it's better than... A any anything else <laughs> most anything else i guess nice though just give it up excellent you're with black strap and treetop flyer very fun oh that does that sounds fun <gasps> we flew the ford tri-motor with floats on thursday so that was so much fun and i need to start flying more float planes in different planes so what were you in uh double enders <laughs> i'm gonna let that lie <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ducky, yes, I'm sorry. Better the ads, yep. It's great. Yes, okay, excellent. Gotta find an NDV project. Oh no, hello, how's it going? Yeah, one second, let me see. I don't think there's one nearby. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oops. Okay, that one doesn't have one. There is an NDB nearby. I am not seeing an approach with, wait, oh God. No, there, oh no. Oh God, there, frick. There is one, there is one very nearby. <laughs> The duck I left you behind, I, he wasn't, I, I had him up last week. I think, I think this one, because it has the pants, for some reason, has the pants, aren't they cute? Um, for some reason it doesn't keep the things, it doesn't keep the, um, it's not state saving. Oh, and what the duck, got it, okay, I did miss that. What the duck? Yes, I got it, sorry. Try motor love, it was, it was so much fun. Uh, I my mind kind of malfunctioned a bit. You're listening to Opposing Bases podcast live from oh, gosh, wrong hand, um, and they kept getting interrupted by the tri motor digging off. Uh, but like, were they mad about it? I won't be mad about it. D Divine three five nine. I know. Is it Divine or is it Divine? Yes, I did. I just found it. God dang it. Okay, fine. Hang on. First, what we gotta do? We gotta we gotta brief the dang thing. <sighs> I'm doing right the and we're not gonna go on ATC for this one because uh, my track is already spaghetti god dang it <laughs> uh two two three Romeo is that to be yeah 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 god dang it god dang it okay okay fi okay fine okay fine where's my map where's my map there it is god dang it do it freaking it I don't know how to do it at DB. I have I've told my instructor that we need to do NDBs at some point because I think the aircraft I one of the aircraft we were flying does have one. And I was like, oh, we should do that at some point. And he's like, no, it's it's inoperative. Um he he doesn't want to do it. He's not even sure he would know how to do it. So I was like, okay, so now I have to learn how to do the NDBs 
NDB approaches so that um, I can teach him. And he's like, yeah, you go ahead and do that. So now it's a challenge. I just have not risen to the challenge yet. Uh, okay, so we're doing an NDB approach. <laughs> we're doing an NDB approach into Devine. Ah, uh, yes, Romeo has one. Any of you have Yes. But because you aren't doing ATC, I must do the procedure chart. Okay, that's fair. That is fair. Um, it is good practice for the right seat flying. God damn it. This is not what I was expecting to do this evening. <laughs> okay, we're doing the thing. So first, 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 first. Um... Exit, exit, new. We're gonna bring the mixer out just a smidge. That, okay. Do we have any uh, takeoff minimums? Find Tango, three, zero. Okay, takeoff obstacles. Trees beginning a beam. We're taking off one, three. A beam, departure, end of runway, 300 left feet left of center line, up to 40 feet. Transmission lines beginning 1777 feet from departure end of runway across. Center line up to 80 feet. So from depart beginning 1777 feet from hello hello let me check Melvin Leroy thank you for the raid how was your stream what were you doing how's it going Sky Cabin lovely to see you as well the Heidi Club that's the first time I've heard that <laughs> your understanding is head towards the NDB then after crossing outbound on the 176 okay okay hiya hiya I hope you're well. We are, we're about to do an NDB approach that I was not expecting. So we're gonna, from the right seat. So yes, it's gonna be questionable. So again, so when it says here, transmission lines beginning, I'm, tr I'm trying to like actually picture this. Why can't I just do right here? Okay. From departure end of runway. Transmission lines beginning is at 1777 feet from de departure end of runway. Like, so from here, through the runway, across the center line? Are there lines right over the airport? Hang on. I don't know how that works. I don't, I'm not sure how to read that, I'm sorry. Within question nautical miles, procedure turn left 131. Okay, we'll then right to 311. Raid, Raid, hello. Just found my stream last week. and love it so much you brought your crew with the, you this time. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. We are doing something different from last week. We're working on some IFR procedures from the right seat. So it, it, it is just all around questionable. Then inbound, but this is dicey. Okay, sounds good. From, oh God, that's right. From departure end is the far end of the, right. Ah, thank you. I just, I knew that and then what what's the, what's the other one because they had from one of the ones that we were doing at some point had the other one and so i was like huh okay i guess i know what that is now and then it completely turned me around i'm sorry i'm sorry oh my god this is why this is why we do this so those lines are beyond okay thank you dr departure to run it right see in my brain i was like we are departing from this end. Oh my god. 1777 feet from the park. Yeah. So power lines after. Yeah. Okay. So thank you. I'm sorry. Approach end. That's what it is. AER is approach end. Thank you. God damn it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 That makes more sense. When something doesn't make sense, I'm probably thinking about it incorrectly. Okay. Sounds good. Um, so we're just going to quick take a gander there. 2400. We are going this ish way, so we're just going to go up to 3,000. I know it's 4,700 there, but we're not going to make it like that. So, and it's okay. No, this is fine. 
So, so 3,000, we're just gonna make it up to 3,000. Hop, skip, and a jump. Briefing. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit more and probably bring the mixer out a little bit. Okay, NDB, runway three five. <laughs> Divine Muni, Divine Divine, thoughts? Um, two three Romeo, it is up to date, excellent. NDB is three five nine, we'll set that up. Approach course is three five six. Runway length three three nine or nine or so thirty four hundred to keep it in our mind. Touchdown zone elevation, airport elevation seven oh three. Use Castro view. Castro Veal. Castroville Muni altimeter setting. When not received, use blah. We'll use Castroville. Helicopter visibility irrelevant. Night landing, runway 35, not authorized. So you could circle to 17? Why? We're not going to make it. Probably. Probably. Hello. How is it going? Deputy Doug. We said your name three times early in the stream and you, in the stream and you appeared. How is it going? We're in Texas. <laughs> we, we were going to do ATC because they were on and then they left. So we, uh, luckily they left because that was a terrible, terrible track to fly is human to land is divine. Nice. I like it. Yeah. You guess. Yes. Wait, that was a yes to the you would just circle and the wind's favorite was so but 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 why at right hang on oh sorry sorry yeah night landing so why would it be better is it obstacle and we're gonna do a circling on this ndb approach oh i have to do i can't do the procedure turn oh oh shoot so we're gonna oh god dang it so Hang on. <laughs> so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna turn all the way around. We're gonna procedure turn. And then we're gonna go back in. Likely obstructions. Okay, okay. What does the ODP for Devine say? Let us track. So if we're taking off from 1-7, that would give us the 3-5 approach stuff, yes. So trees beginning 281 feet from departure end of runway, haha, -ha, okay, there. 383 feet left of center line. So on the right of our approach to 3-5, up to 50 feet. Trees beginning 1145 feet from departure end of runway, 233 feet le uh, left of center line, up to 50 feet. So there's trees 233 feet to the right of center line if we're approaching. Yes, does that sound legit? Does that make sense? Okay. All right, so we're, we're circling anyway. And again, so we are, we are coming, we are, So, okay, I guess we're not coming direct. So we're coming there, and then we have to circle around to come through here, procedure turn, and in. That sounds questionable, but are we doing it that way? 3-5 also has power lines at night. Just at night? Are they, what's the word? Um, they're, they're nocturnal power lines. Where though? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, all right. So that's what we're doing. Amazing. Excellent. Okay. Uh, I will put that down. Uh, I will throw that in the chat, I guess, so that I don't have to when we're in the thing. Here is our, um inadvisable NDB approach that we're going to attempt. 
<laughs> Castrovel. We need to get Castrovel's altimeter setting. So let's see if we can get that now. We cannot get that now. We will get that slightly later. Um, so we need to tune our NDB 359. Oh, shoot. Okay. So I hope, oh God, that would be, hor okay. Dang it. Uh, okay. This, yes. Okay. Uh, and then I push it in. No, I, no, hang on. I push it. I used the right click. That's how. Okay. Sorry. Cause we did. We had that issue before. I couldn't figure out how to do that thing. I think it's 359. Let me check one more time. Let me get this into my flight. Ah. <laughs> this is so questionable. Um, okay. I cannot, I cannot believe that worked out so perfectly that we're right nearby at any me <sighs> I'm getting nervous. Can you tell? NDB. Hotel, hotel, hotel. Heidi, Heidi, Heidi. It's calling to me. Fine, we're going. Are you happy, NDB? Okay, 359. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You can't see. Thank you, thank you. We weren't doing anything. Map, um, 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 you mean, um, um, um. You always do this, you always do what? So we are Tango Tree Zero to, oops. Or or were you saying the, the map, the plate was in the way? Two, three, zero. Oh, we didn't even, you know what? Sorry, we didn't even fully actually brief the approach, did we? I'm sorry. Procedure, approach. Oh, God dang it. I pressed things I wasn't supposed to. Okay, sorry, one sec, we have to go back to the... For a, mo for a moment. Okay, so we got about here and then we just, ooh. Um, do we do, should we do it at night anyway? That could be pretty, but also questionable. Missed approach, climbing left turns 2400 in Hotel, 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 November, Delta, Bravo, or NDB, holding pattern. So we climb and, so we climb to 2400 and just like get into the holding pattern like that. Okay, we'll figure it out on the fly. Ha ha, ha ha. Frequencies, we are not on anything because this is going to be super questionable. So we're gonna get there. And once we pass it, we have 4,100 for our minimum safe altitude. Uh, on the other side of it is 2,600, 25 nautical miles. Um, excellent, okay. So then we're gonna get to the NDB. We're gonna flip ourselves around and go back out, do our procedure turn to the, to the left. Take it back now, y'all. 131, and then, like you said, I think you had that earlier. Uh, one minute out, right turn, 311, and then we'll come back onto the NDB at 356. Um, and on our way out this way, out this way, we can be at or above 2400, and then on our way back in, so once we start coming back in to the NDB, then we can get down to our 1380 circling minimums. And we're gonna just get into a left downwind. That sounds about right. Leave the map up. Um, okay, so how about, how about, how about, hang on, let me, I, I need to check this. It has not worked the last how many times that I've done it. So I think I need to go like this. Like this, is this okay? Do you mean like this? Or do you want the approach plate up? Because then I can go like this. 
Which are you, which, which, hang on. Which are you wanting? Are you wanting little nav map or the approach plate? Or, or, or are you just making jokes? <laughs> tow bar? Oh no, no, I don't have a tow bar. There's no, to there's no tow bar here. Is that a smoking squirrel? <laughs> it's like the squirrels in my brain. That's actually what my um, number one instructor um, said to me once. <laughs> I have squirrels in my brain. And to behold, ooh, not sure you've done those. Well, it's not technically a hold. It's just for the... Oh, you mean... Oh, shoot, for the misapproach. Got it. Yeah. We're going to hopefully not go miss. Going to learn the TBM 930 on the sim? Nice. Which one is that one? I don't know. And why are you doing that one? You had a good time doing them in hard IFR on Saturday. Oh, no. That sounds interesting. So were you expecting the hard IFR? Or was that surprise? Was that a surprise? And by a good time, is that sarcastic? <laughs> um, remain within 10 nautical miles. That was it. Right. You need some calculations with the E6B. What do you mean? <laughs> um, I will. I will try to put little. I'll try to keep little nav map up. It ha it it hasn't been actually like taking it and using it. So hang on. Let me go like that. There. Maybe that will work, not like that. And then there. Okay, all right, so we did the thing, I have the thing, my iPad is gonna die soon, so we should hurry. Um, oh shoot, sorry, so we're going 2300 to hotel, 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 too many H's, um, to 23 Romeo. And I'll pin that one in. Okay. It was on purpose. Okay, you saw it. All right. It was the NDV Alpha at Kilo, Charlie, Quebec, X-Ray on Cape Cod. Okay. Circling approach with a hold lua procedure turn. Oh, my God. And it went well, I assume. Any a Anything surprising or any snags at all? Or did it go fairly smoothly? It sounds interesting. 24, oh, God. 2,400 to... 1380, like a thousand feet to lose. So what three nautical miles to descend? There is a thing. And my brain is not. Okay, hang on. So, yeah, so like a thousand feet in three nautical miles. I always mean, I always mean wrong freaking thing. Uh, back taxiing so we can get in the air. I, 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 I do need to learn to do more though. If, if I give me a pen and paper and I could probably take the parking brake off and I, I can do that. But in, in my mind, I'm just, it's, it's working on so many other things. So, okay. So it's a thousand, a thousand feet. There is, there's a rule of thumb sort of thing. And I can't remember what it was. 90 knots ground speed, 500 feet per minute. Uh, so it'll take two minutes to descend if you're doing 500 feet per minute. <laughs> and then I guess if you're going 90 knots, hang on. Oh, gosh darn it. That's, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't know. It'll take two minutes. <laughs> well, okay. 90 knots. And God dang it, I have my brakes on. I'll maybe do that at the end. Otherwise, we will not be getting in the air anytime soon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it was actually okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You just don't like where the... Oh, ADF gauge is on the Comanche. Where is it? And why is it where it is? And is that normal? Like IRL? Okay, 318 feet per nautical mile is three degrees standard descent. So three nautical miles equals 960 chicken. Um, 960 feet, so you will lose 960 feet in three nautical miles. Is that what you're saying? Rule of threes is 
feet to lose times three plus three, something like that. Right, nautical miles. <laughs> Rule of fives is the ground speed times five, so 90. <laughs> Rule of fives is ground speed times five. So 90 times five is 450 feet per minute descent rate. Okay, rules of thumb are three nautical miles for every thousand feet to descend. Okay, sounds good. And that, that drives, that drives that. Okay, the plus three is fudge for entry into the pattern. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, I will, I do. I need to work on all that stuff. It's just, uh, it does. With the training, I just end up getting so focused on like the, oh, wait, 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 I have to switch this, don't I? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I get so focused on the, um, what I'm working on specifically there that I don't take the time or get a chance to work on just like the basic things that I should work on. So uh, I do, I do and I should and I will and I must. So we'll get there. And I appreciate, I appreciate you bringing that up because it does, it gives me that least little bit of experience. Um, okay, so is, this is this, okay. Do I move this? Um, I move it until it's up. No, nope, can't say that. That's no, not allowed. Um, we're going to be about ish on a track ish of. I have not. I have not worked on NDBs. In a, in, in a, I haven't worked on NDBs ever. I haven't like. God dang it. Give me my route. Oh, that is what I wanted. 22 degrees. So we'll be about ish 22 degrees. Why isn't it changing? Uh oh. Oh, 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 okay. It's telling me the direction that it's in, not what I am setting it to. Zero, two, two. Oh God. Um, and it does because 318 feet per nautical mile is three degree glide slope. Right, okay. But for three degree glide path, divide your ground speed by two and then multiply by 10. Right or multiply by five. Right, whichever is easier. Right, right. Oh, okay, okay, that does, that does make sense then. Okay. It's not receiving it. Okay. You get a single little point at the source. Well, it couldn't be pointing at it now. We are pretty close. Then you can adjust the compass so that the heading matches where it. Oh. Oh. Okay. So well. So I'll put it. I'll put it there, where I think it's going to be, aroundish. That way we don't have far to move it. Okay. So now it has changed. Why has it changed? Ah, that's interesting. One more. Okay. Relative bearing only, not picking anything. Up. Okay, anyway. Okay. We'll have to hit the ADF button on the intercom. Should I oh, that's right. Okay. Um, and that is, can I just do that now? I'm just going to do that now, else I'll forget. On the intercom to identify the Morse code throughout. Okay, that'll be fun. If you fly directly at the NDB, it will point straight up. Then I can look at my heading or compass and tune the NDB dial to match. Okay. <laughs> okay. It gets annoying. Well, hopefully it's not very loud, just like the um, VOR isn't very loud. Can you use it to set my plate headings. Okay. Try. Okay. Yeah. Fun. Okay. It's the ADM. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm going to also throw it in here. Oh, wait, you know what? Uh, I'm going to throw it on here. So our first one is 2-2. Two, two. Hang on. It's 2-2. Two, two. For where we're going, what we're doing. God dang it. And then I will put our eventual 2-2. Two, two. Uh, we're going to end up coming in on 3-5-6. Okay. 
Hotel, hotel, hotel. Four dots times three. Okay. Oh, so it's just gonna be going beep, 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 wait. Beep, 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 wait. Beep, 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 beep. I can count. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing the thing. Okay. So, um, pairs all traffic. Uh, wish us luck. Mixture. We're taking off one, three. Carb heat is in. Fuels on both. Green, green. Carb heat flaps. Go. Okay. And we're doing a, l uh, hang on. Ah, words I can't say because I'm a lady. We're coming from Tango Tree Zero. Hotel, hotel, hotel. Okay. All right. 3,000. Oh, okay. All right. All right. This is fun for you guys. <laughs> no, it is going to be fun. I, I, I mean, I'm always like this. So, yes. This, this is like me when I tell my instructor, yeah, we should do a fun flight. And it's a fun flight for him. Uh, where he's giving me, throwing all the IFR stuff at me. God dang it. No, it's okay. It's good. It's going to be good. Only, oh, only move the car to match your heading. Okay. Moving it to the desired bearing too far ahead of the turn. <gasps> Can cause confusion. Okay. Couldn't move it on the plane you learned in any way, so you generally don't use. Okay. So I just shouldn't use the card. Just don't use the card. Don't need to use the card. Okay. We're going to not use the card. That's one last thing that I need to do. So, okay. All right. Not sure the C-150 you flew in had all this fancy avionics. Yeah. <laughs> Think of it as a manual RMI. Okay. Make it do what an RMI does and it makes it a lot more sensical. Okay, I will try. Okay. Okay, all right, we're take we're taking off. We're doing the things, we did the, oh God. Well, okay, sorry, hang on. Abort, abort for like three seconds. It's not necessary because we're not at that sim, but it's gonna bug me if I don't do it. Okay. We're taking off one, oops, one, three. Right seat, right seat, hand on the throttle, hand on the throttle, left hand, throttle, 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 we're in the oops, in the oops, checking our oops, ah, I think we have a crosswind too, so I should be correcting for that, I think it's, I don't remember which way it is, I think it's that way, so we're gonna go like that, we're gonna gently take it off the oops runway, gently, 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 okay, that was that there. Oh, and we're supposed to use some other setting that I forgot about. Okay, this is fine. We have our ADF on. Have that thing. Cannot believe we're freaking doing this. <laughs> okay, this is fine. This is fine. Well, oh, oh, it's coming up. Look, look, look. It did the thing. It did the thing. Um, we were there, so now we can turn. We're IFR, so we're going like this. Oops, gentle, gentle. Bring that nose down. Bring that nose down. Um, okay, 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 sorry. Oh god. So exciting. I have heart. <laughs> uh, um, well, um, kind of. Uh, don't do that thing that one guy did with the crossman pulled the plane and he pointed it at the <gasps> hanger and gave it full throttle. Yeah, no, no, we're gonna try not to do that. We have signal! Um, so. <gasps> okay, so left downwind. We're just gonna do left downwind for now. Um, we're going up to 3,000, because that's where we're supposed to go. And then we're going to point at the NDB after that. Move the mouse, right hand, throttle, we have the thing, okay. I don't hear the beep beeps though. Lack of beep beeps concerns me. me we have no dme no we do not is the little nav map even working down there oh god sorry so painful to watch oh, holy crap there's been a lot of that lately yeah wait was that one recent oh no and we have the adf i had to i did i had to adjust the um um what's the word 
Uh, okay, so now we're... Okay, we can turn now. We're gonna turn directly. Can't home, have to pick a bearing. Okay, 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 okay. So. It was older. Okay, it did. It sounded familiar. Oh, oops. Okay, 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 okay. Oops, okay. okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so because I moved... God dang it. Because I moved the card, that's wrong. Awesome. So I'm just going to leave the card where it is, and we're just going to ignore it completely. And then we just leave the beepings in the background. Okay. Okay. We are definitely not on the fourth flight track. Three. Around, like, three. Three. We're going to keep it at three. Oh, wait. I should. Okay. We're not going to keep it at three. We will keep it at three. So about 20 according to my vantage point here. Okay, all right, all right, we'll do that. Okay, a crash on takeoff in Stowe, Massachusetts near you. Okay, everyone survived though, that's good. Needle will always point straight up. Okay, okay, okay. If I am flying toward the source, right. Card is just for my reference, and it's irrelevant anyway. Question mark. So, oh, okay. So, so if okay, so if I did, if I wanted to remember it, I could just go like this. So we decided that whoops, that we're going to be doing it at about twenty. Just for reference. Oh, bring it back, bring it back. Oh God, okay. Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, proceed direct, hotel, 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 on the 030 bearing inbound. Oh, but, uh, so I have to go to the 30 bearing. Okay, oops. Oh God, okay. Uh, uh, center, hotel tree one, er, uh, hotel tree one, Delta one. Direct hotel, hotel, hotel on the 030 bearing inbound because <laughs> because okay so then do i have to go oh magnetic wait hang on oh god okay magnetic heading so my magnetic heading two zero plus my relative bearing which is frick what again again i haven't done this in a while oh hang on i i used to know all this stuff And don't mistake the car for my heading indicator. No, no. Oh, 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 okay. So you don't know if it's right, but you usually set it so that the ADF card matches your heading indicator on the end of that one. Okay, okay, okay. Right, magnetic heading is relative bearing, magnetic bearing. Um, but again, what's the, um... Oh God. Oh goodness. Um... Okay, so relative bearing. Okay, so my magnetic heading plus my relative bearing. All right, what is my relative bearing again? <laughs> it has been a while. Wanted to either read your heading as much as possible or leave it at zero. Okay. Okay, so my magnetic heading, I'm heading here, so then my relative bearing to the thing. Okay, so, uh, oh, okay, so that's, um, 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 wind correction thing. <laughs> if I'm heading to zero, relative bearing is 10 degrees right, right, then the magnetic bearing is three zero. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So, uh, 
So that's what you're giving me because you're ATC, right? So you can see my track versus where I am heading. Bring that back a little bit. It's not wind correct. Okay, correction yet. I have to watch the needle trend to see what the wind is doing. So I would actually have to be flying a straight line is what you're saying. <laughs> but yeah, that's the quasi ATC you gave. Me. Okay, sounds good. Okay, 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 okay. I will. I'll have to I keep I keep wanting to turn the ADF off. I do. I, I, I need to learn. I, I need to learn it properly. And practice more. <laughs> need to do the reading about it. And get all of the ins and outs. Correct. It's why you're having me track a bearing and Instead of homing, homing. Okay, but, 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 so, okay, so why is the car moving now? Didn't I set the card? Didn't I set the card? And now it's moving? Hello! Thank you for the follow, Buffalo Gold 09. I apologize to myself and appreciate you putting up with me. I promise I fly better in an actual plane, not NDB approaches. So homing is when you, right, just keep the nose pointed at it. Problem is you end up flying, right, a curved path because of wind drift. Okay, so then, so sh I should have it be pointing up, though, still, right? So you need to be constantly checking the DG and adding or subtracting the re oh, relative bearing indicated on the idea of, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, oops. I'll, oh, God, I'll uh, uh, kind of, maybe potentially kind of get it-ish. Talk through Google Translate in Russian. I would, but I cannot at the moment. Um, I can barely do what I'm doing right now, but hello. I am sorry, I'm sorry I cannot at the moment. Only point it up if I'm homing. Okay, 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 okay. So. So if up is 20 degrees, well, again, so why is my card moving? Only point. Eh. Eh. Or you're on. Only point it up if you're homing. Or. God dang it. Or you're on the correct. Okay. Only point it up if you're homing. Or you're on the correct bearing. There's no wind. Right. No process. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot. So. Is there an RMI mode? I don't know. Oh God, we're almost, we're almost at it too. Shoot. I unlocked a cheat. Oh no. Oh, the card, the card doing stuff. So, oh. And I am and I'm homing. Um, three, five, six, minus two, plus two. So 17, six. So I am gonna have to, I'm coming up at it. What's it going to do? Sorry, you don't understand your Russian. Uh, 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 I would. I would try to speak in Russian, but I don't know how to speak in Russian. Oh, God, shoot. So I apologize. I know, I, I know some Spanish. That's probably not helpful. It, sh it should not be doing that. It, is it... Is 
Is it this thing? It might be one of these. Um, oh, shoot. Um, okay, so we're like at the NDB, but we're not at the NDB. We turn almost 90 degrees from the intended course. But, 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 but we're at the NDB now. And so now we have to turn outward. I may or may not be also utilized. Um, um, uh, honorary uh, GPS. Your guess is the wind is out of the southeast. Okay. Okay. Oop, oop, oop. And then that's there. Yeah. So it's like, it's like there-ish. So based on that, so, so, so now, so now I turn on to my, my, my outbound course for erecto mundo. Oh, okay. So then again. <laughs> Wait, why are you there? Okay. Oh, uh, up, 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 up. One seventy six outbound. Okay. Uh. I don't know how any of these work. God damn it. I am tracking the 100. Yes. <laughs> this is fine. We're fine. Okay, okay. So, I'm going like this. Don't worry about the DG. I wasn't worrying about the DG and then I messed it up. ADF is working as an RMI, but, but I'm trying not to use it as an RMI, which is basically another DG, so it's a lot easier. Okay. Okay, I what? I'm parallel the course, kind of. You can chat with Google Translate, but I cannot chat with Google Translate at the moment. I am sorry. Uh, where is the course relative to me? Um, uh, to my, um, that, that way. I want to say. And cause, okay, so, cause I'm going outbound, so is that a thing? Where it's like the, um, it, it's kind of like the, uh, oops, uh. Oh, but and again, and again, and again, and again. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Because it is. It's based on where my nose is. To my right. Correct. Oh, thank God. And is it, is it that, um, what's the word? What's the word? Arr, take it. Oh, yes. I, I'm attempting. I assume it should only be like 10 degrees, right? However, I think we are grossly off course. Oh, we're not too bad. However, I was supposed to put a timer on. Shoot. That was, oh God, that was probably two minutes. Trying it again. Another thing to check, how am I staying within 10 nautical miles? Honorary GPS, because I forgot to turn on my timer. God dang it. Oops. This is why we're not on ATC. I am almost on it. Okay, okay. I will do my procedure turn. I will do my procedure turn. Uh, wait. Uh, I am about-ish on the course-ish now. Okay, uh, so, cause, hang on. Find the 176 heading, fly the plane. Where am I? Okay, 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 okay. So I'm here. So I'm here. So I'm here. 
We're there. We're like there-ish. That's not quite correct. And now I go really close to on course. Now proceed to turn. Okay, okay. So one, three, one. Left turn. Oops. One, three, one. One, three, one. And do that for a minute. Okay. Oops. There. Uh, okay. One, three, one. Okay. Okay. Now we're just doing the thing. Doing the thing. Um, 17, oops, stay on 131, going back over, oops, 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 going back over, oops, 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 there we go. Just do the timer things, don't worry about the course again until I reverse PT. Okay, sounds good. 20 seconds. seconds. And standard rate, standard rate, standard rate. And 356 is our inbound. Uh, well, first 311. First 311 to intercept the course. And then 356. Altitude check. So we can get down to 2,400 now. So I was attempting to get down. So I could probably do this thing. Uh, bring it down a little bit. Fly 311, then check the needle. Okay. 311. Shoot, 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 shoot. So once it... So once the arrow points to the 356, since it's RMI, <laughs> yes, could have descended right to 2400 once I was out, right, and then I forgot about it. Did I, can, can I kill the map? Oh god, that's right, I didn't even think about that, yes. Sorry. There, okay. Oh, oh shoot, oh shoot. Um, so now I turn, now I turn, now I turn, now I turn, yes. Inbound now, yes. And we were supposed to get the one else. <laughs> Definitely don't want to do that yet. Okay. Um, oops. Okay. So we're just going to. So it is. Okay. I'm going to try not to look. So it is that direction from us. So we need to. I need to do an intercept heading. Uh, so let me check it. Yes. Oops, shoot. I will need to correct. Yes, yes. Is the course to my left or right? Um, it was to my right, and I did it without looking. I promise. And then I checked. And and so it is. It's radi. So so the the ADF pretend like it's radiating out from my plane rather than it radi radiating out from the equipment, correct? 10 to 15 degrees or so, okay. Oops, so, oops. And remember the wind, right, shoot, uh, okay. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and we can be getting down to 11, 1380, 1380, okay. So intercept. Bringing that down a little bit more. Fly like a zero three zero for a little longer until the needle stabilizes around three five eight, and then turn toward course. Okay, sounds good. Okay. 
1380 we're looking for, so 1400 we'll aim for. Uh, oops, oops, oops. Keep going on the three zero. Much easier when it's an RMI. I am finding that. Because because otherwise you do. You have to move the card as things do things yourself. Like, right? More to the right. Right, I am. I am. I am making an attempt, and the attempt is, oh god, why? Why? Oh, we're over! Oh god, so then we look for the- oh, it's the runway! So now we, uh, yeah, do the thing. Okay, 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 uh, oops, uh, okay. Uh, just normal, normal people, normal people things. Uh, flaps, and a flap, and short approach. It looks like a, oops, skinny runway, so I don't want to go too hard at it, but also slipping. And this is strange. So now I have to go like this and like this, slip the other way. Okie dokie. Landing 1-7, because that's what the wind favors. Get lined up. Oop, oh, up, nose up, nose up, nose up. Gentle, 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 gentle. Oh, and get on the, oops, center line. Center, center. Nope, gentle, gentle, gentle. <gasps> Yay! We made it, surprisingly and questionably, but we made it. <laughs> we didn't make any call. Oh, we have to get all the way over there. And then we with it. Ah, kill it. Oh, oops. I miscalculated that a little. Oh, nope, we're good. Okay. We did the thing. Surprise. Okay. So, <laughs> get each turn right. Okay, so I was. I was trying to slip it. Um, and I don't slip this plane very well. Um, and then I had to go into the opposite slip. If you can recommend, if you can recommend what? Yes, you can. I would appreciate recommendations. <laughs> Un unless, unless you, you meant with the going into the slip versus the, yes, it's getting turned. <laughs> that was interesting. I do. I want it. I do want to do more of that. Um, as much as, as much as I complained about it, I did have a good time and I appreciate, uh, y you, you bringing it up for me to do, um, and helping the entire way. I appreciate it so much as always. <laughs> um, yeah, so we will, we'll do our shutdown quick. Um, and then, and then we'll go over, the, over the map because that'll be interesting. Clean up the plane, did the thing. Um. So music, which includes all this stuff off, and this, and this, lights, oops, um, wrong thing, mixture out, M music mixture, master mags. Continue. We will try to put our things on. Ah, and by things I mean chocks and pito cover and engine cover. Look at how cute the little. Look at how cute the pants are. They match the plane. Oops. Oh, there. So see. Pants and the plane go together. Why? This goes that way right. And this goes, oops, this way. Control the space. Boop and boop. There. 
Did the thing, did the thing, close the doors. Oops, wrong button. We'll go outside first. <laughs> Yay! Uh, ah. Oh, and we'll also see what it actually looks like at the moment. <gasps> Ooh, it's... A progression. Practice some tracking on a specific bearing. Inbound and outbound sounds good. Try it with a headwind or tailwind first. No crosswind. Sounds good. Then add crosswind, then work it into an approach. Okay, sounds good. So I jumped the gun a little bit on this. That, that, that sounds about right. But, but we did make it. Again, thank you for the help. Um, and yes, I would. I would like to do more of that. I do. I get way too focused on like the study, study stuff just for the specific um, thing that I'm working on. And I do need to start working on um, just gen general proficiency stuff. So, and skill building. So, yeah. We'll get there. <sighs> Gorgeous. Okay. So we'll go like this. I'm going to take this off so I can think a little bit. We'll go over the track. Oi. <laughs> Some IFR spaghetti we're gonna have. Where is it? There it is. Noom. All right, so. <laughs> so bad. Okay, so we started. All right, okay, okay. So for this one first. Um, okay, a few rules of thumb based on when I'm inbound or outbound. Making the head, tail, ball rise okay I will I will have to um, go back and read about the things because I do I do I, I don't I don't remember I don't remember all of the things that I should about that so okay head to tail ball or rise okay I'm trying to think of what that's gonna <laughs> um what's the word correspond with but okay all right well i'll figure it out so we got out of parking ignore that taxiing uh we got to the end of the uh, runway and we knew we got off the ground we uh, took off and we did our downwind and again so what happened was i was pointing the vor on the magnetic magnetic heading i think it says or i think it said yeah magnetic heading um, for the VOR, so that's why we ended up going there, and then I realized that uh, I was following the VOR that I set it at, and I was trying to get to that point, and we ended up going like that instead of onto this track, so, um, yeah. Then we wiggled our way along the track that we figured out after that. We got to the VOR, <laughs> then we turned in for our approach, nice and straight and wiggly. We did our noom, our circling approach, um, landed questionably, as per usual. We taxied in, we taxied out for our NDV approach, or attempted NDV approach. Um, we took off again, and we wiggled toward, toward, toward it, um, and... Yeah, so it was like at that point we were nearby it. So it's like right, boom, there. So we were like nearby it. And so I jumped the gun a little bit and started turning. And then, and then, um, yeah, turned back toward it and then got too far that way because I was watching the NDB instead of uh, turning to a proper heading. Um, and then we wiggled our way down to hopefully trying to figure out where we were actually supposed to be. <laughs> it looks like half of a rabbit. Like, okay, morbid, but like if you, like in a, in a science diagram biology book, if you like cut the rabbit head like there and down the middle, it's like that half of a rat. I'm sorry. 
Um, see the eastward hook. Uh, which one? This? That's the homie. Oh, 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 um, the, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. The, the, this one where I did that, the homing backwards, backwards homing. And that's what made it difficult to find the course of the up. I'm like, right. Okay. 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 Right. I do, and that's one of the things. It's like I know I'm not supposed to do that, but automatically do it. So yeah, so we did. We did our um, outbound, and then our inbound, and then overshot a little bit, got ish back onto it, and then yeah, all of a sudden the uh, NDB started whooping, and we were like, oh gosh, we're over it, and there was the runway. So we quickly turned and, and, and landed. Also slightly questioning. <laughs> and as always, again, I promise I do. I fly so much better in an actual plane. I say it all the time. I mean it every single time. <laughs> and we ended up there. Yeah. Um... When I first approached the airport, that hook Oh, so this one? So, I do. I almost feel like some of it was, I think I did anticipate it a little bit. Like I was trying to turn to the, turn to the outbound early. Um, but, but right. So like it was like, as I was going like there, then I'm trying to go like there. Oh, oh, are you, are you saying like the, just like that part right there? And then that was me doing the, okay, got it. So like that, that's where I'm homing and that's where I'm going ahead of the game. Draw the three, five, six magnetic line inbound to, oh, how do I do that? I don't know how, do I go like this? Nope, that doesn't work. Oh, okay. Uh, can I, oop, can I, oop, um, Uh, how do I tell what the three, five, six is? <laughs> Oops. Oops. Oh, range ring? Information? I have it right clicked. Add range of range. Oops. Whoa. Uh, I did do the measure distance from here. Um, how, how do I make it show the degree? Oops. Uh, oops. God dang it. I'm gonna go like so. Then we're gonna go like so. Oops. My settings must be different. Dang it. Mine, yours shows mag, true, and distance. Uh, okay. Okay. Well. <sighs> trying to figure out how to. <sighs> um, hang on. Thank you for the follow, JPhils412. I appreciate you putting up with me. <laughs> Again, thank you for the follow. Um, what am I doing up this late? We were doing an ND or attempting an ADB approach. My ADM must be off. Oh no. Oh no. I am safe. Um maybe. <laughs> In the sim, it's okay. Question mark. Hello, how is it going? Your CML is now Tuesday. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, next Tuesday? So a week from now. Okay. Oh, your mock, your mock check ride. Oh, darn it, okay. No, you mean real check ride, okay. Uh, like, sad face because you didn't do it yet? 
or a sad face because you're nervous or both but it'll be good it'll be good i am i'm really excited for you how how did the mock go though did we talk about that i hope well i hope well i'm sure it did sad face because this holding out stuff makes your brain hurt yes yes okay here's the thing so i have the um I had one of the cheat sheets for that stuff, and I I had another cheat sheet graph for that stuff, and they disagreed. And the one that I was using because it was cleaner, I think was wrong. So, like, my whole thing is, is safe route, go. I think perhaps it's legal, but I wouldn't do that. If I have a question about it, I'm going to be contacting the FISDO. And the DP will probably be like, mm, don't do that, it's fine. Oh, why does that say, oh, okay, never mind, sorry. I thought the number of the runway was doing something with the disc there, but no, I guess not. God damn it. Um, but yeah, so if that helps at all. So, so get it down as much as possible, but also just be like, um, yeah, just like, uh, oh, well, it says there's a range ring, but yeah. Oh, wait. What does it say? God damn it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Sorry. Um, yeah. So that was our IFR spaghetti. We tried. We tried. It was. It was fun though. It was a good experience. Um, and I do. I will. I do have to figure out, I do have to figure out something. I'll, I'll, I'll start working on getting to like raid situation. If you know anybody who's online, you'd like to go to, let me know. Otherwise we will see who is on new friends, old friends. Mock was oh, worst mock you've done, but instructor said you did fine. I had three go arounds. Um, uh, had three go arounds because you couldn't get the plane down, so you just did the last landing at your home airport. Okay, in a class, oh, in a class, Charlie, and they were too busy to let you do run there all day. Fair, you have the gold, yes, gold method list thingy, but yeah, you're just say you believe it's this, but you can use this flow chart that you have, and if you still have no idea, you can just call the physio. So that's the one that I think is slightly incorrect. I was, I was going to text my DPE like after I had passed and then been like, okay, so, Hey, I was using this flow chart and I feel like this isn't correct. Please help. But no, no, no. It's just, it's just about, I think it's like the, okay. Go, if, if this helps at all, the bold, not bold method. If you just Google commercial, commercial uh, holding out um, limitations, it should pop up. I can post it in my Discord. Are you in my Discord? I'll pop it in here. I will post the one. Um, talk about it with your um, instructor. And if you already have gone, gone over it with your instructor, then just, just leave it. But there's a video that goes over stuff as well, and it does. It does kind of – it says different things. So, yeah. But I'm, I'm sure you'll be fine. Don't think you are, and it's the gold seal one. Right. There's there's a video I, from somebody. Um, and I will. I'll post it in my Discord, and you can look at it. Otherwise, d you're close enough to your check ride. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Talk to your instructor instead. Um, but, yeah. That was fun. It was fun. And thank you. Thank you so much for um, bringing that up. I know I did. As always, I complain about it, but I do it and I have a good time and it's a good experience. So yes. And see you tomorrow. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I might have to leave early because I have to get up the next day, but I'm not sure. We'll find out. Um, but yes, check out Charlie Foxtrot. He has a really great stream. Always very helpful, clearly. <laughs> um, and yes, it's going to be a good time. Always is. Um, and also... Uh, check out Comic Crazy and Melvin Leroy. I appreciate the raids. Check out their streams. Thank you also for the follows. Appreciate you all being here. Um, 
And we will. We will spread the love. We'll look for somebody to um, send you off to. We'll try to look for some GA, some small planes, um, and see how well that works. Is it the old ones? No. So that's one of the things is there is a thing. <sighs> There's a thing about the gold seal one where it says the part. <sighs> I almost want to go into it, but I'll, I'll, I will. I'll put it, I'll put it on discord. I'll sh it's the one where it ends up going into the flow chart of the greater than 6,000, no, greater than six passengers, greater than some pounds, and then it goes to you can use part 91, and that seems not quite correct, if that makes sense. Is it the old people? It is not. It is not the old people. Um, but yes, you're in the Discord now. Yes, 20 seats are greater than 6,000 pounds. That one. Sorry. Um, that flow chart, that bit where it goes to part 91, I don't know. It's, it seems like it's not correct, but I could be incorrect. So it, and again, I'll, I'll put the video in discord where it says that that actually goes to part 135 with exceptions based on like rent, like rental share, no, like share, 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 be sharing the plane having a share in the plane or something. So it, 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 six seats and right. I know. I'm sorry. Wait, no, 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 no. It's not, it's not, it's a 20 seats or greater and 6,000 pounds. I got the numbers mixed up. Uh, I will send you the video and you can look at it with your instructor and see what I see. Cause again, it says that it should go to, um, one That's basic med. Oh gosh. Now I'm not sure what we're getting into. Six seats. Yes, that one is basic med. Right. Yeah. Oi. I am. Doing the CFI training, I know I'm going to get so much better at this stuff. Like, I know it. But then once you start going into other stuff, you do tend to, like, kind of forget about it, unfortunately. So that's why we um, practice, 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 practice. All right, I'm looking. Trying to find some small planes. Okay. We'll try this one. Is it frozen? Like you said, it makes your brain cry. It, it, it did for me too. And that is, that was one of my like sticking points is that I was trying to follow the gosh darn flow charts like, like a good student. And it, it did, it went to two different things and I just could not figure it out. And I talked to my instructors and it, it just, it's still, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it is. Those things are weird. And I feel like th they are, they're meant to be weird so that th th like they, not that they can get you, but so that they have, um, uh, leeway to, again, what they're trying to do is they're trying to make it so that people aren't, um, trying like, trying to make their own airlines without having the oversight but it's talking about common carriage yes a uh, and the holding out stuff ac 12012a and i have i have i've gone over that like i did i went over that stuff too but it 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 just does it just seems like they do leave a lot of room where you can mess up and 
even if you are, if you're trying to do the things that you're supposed to be doing, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It is. It's just when you get your commercial, there's not you. There's not a whole lot that you can do with it, and just think about it that way. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> but yes, download that as well. I'll go over that. DP is really big on three things: systems, engine, fuel, pito, whatever else. Nice. Really big on icing. Excellent. Really big on that reg. Okay. He will typically just point out planes on the ground outside and ask if you can fly that. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> and you've been looking at it all day and it's still a struggle. Right. And that's why you do. You read over it. You try to figure it out. Then you do. You go to the flow charts and they should hopefully have it pared down properly into whatever. And even that's confusing. So yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, let's see what this one is. I I am still also looking for people to raid, but again, it's not um not a whole lot of G, uh GA out there at the moment. So Okay. Might be going here. Okay, I think we're going here. Okay. <laughs> So yes, again, I would, I would just, what, what I ended up doing, well, talk to your instructor, <laughs> always go with what your instructor does, says, and yeah, all of that. But it, it basically was what I ended up getting from mine because I kept on like hammering at this, um, the whole thing where it, it didn't seem like it made sense what it was supposed to be doing. Um, like that, that flow chart that I was supposed supposed to be using or that I was using was themed incorrect. Um, and it was, it was basically just think, you know what? Uh, yes, I think I can, or no, I think I can't. But if I have like a question, I'm going to contact the fist. <laughs> but, oh, oh, my DP said something. Hang on. Cause I did. I said that in my check ride and he said something. Shoot. I have it written somewhere. Hang on. Shoot, I didn't write that one down. We talked about it during the oral, and then I didn't write it down. Okay. Okay, it was. It was something like... <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that, something like... <laughs> Just tag to your instructor. You'll be fine. <laughs> but no, it was... It was <sighs> Specifically for the common carriage... It was, it was like, if you do not have control of like the scheduling or like the aircraft itself, <laughs> like, yeah, if, 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 if you're not in control of like those things, which would make it like airline stuff, you're fine. But I'm sure it's more than that, but it was, it's like the way that he put it, it made it seem so freaking simple. And I, that is what that uh, Wetleys versus Rileys, right? But also, but then I do. I feel like there, there's like when you look into that stuff and you go into other scenario, like certain scenarios. 
where it seems like it'd be fine, but then there's this like little tiny thing that makes it not. I don't know. Only thing that someone said is that there's three things. Right. Passenger. No. Oh, OK. Passenger plane and you. You can only provide yourself. If you provide more than that, then typically it's an issue. The one that I oh, shoot. Um, I heard pa uh, plane, pilot, plane and paid. You can only do two of the three. So if you're providing the plane and yourself, you can't get paid. However, though, that's where I'm like, and then I don't know. And then it's like, if you're just being the pilot, you can get paid. But yeah, okay. That, that makes a lot of sense. Passenger, plane, and you. If you're providing just the you, that makes a lot of sense. Right. But then I guess you were talking about like the holding out. And then besides the 119.1, right. 119.1 is like the, um, the, the CFI like exception to all the things. Good way to look at it, right? Unless you fall under the exception, right? Still, but you were specifically like looking at the holding out stuff, which is just like, d just don't advertise yourself. Just don't do it. Nope, nope, nope. Can't put yourself anywhere. Don't tell anybody to tell anybody about you. The only way that you can get <laughs> um, clients is if you somehow. Um, uh, what's the word? You somehow meet them at the airport and you strike up a conversation. And they're like, hey, could you fly me? P script, but for commercial rules. Oh, God, do I know what P script is? I'll have to look into that. And right, holding out is basically soliciting passengers, but they even do it word of mouth. So it's like if people tell people about you, and then that's how you get like a client. Then that's like not OK to a point. And again, that's like that number where it can't be too many sort of a thing. But that's where it's like it seems like. It, they, they, they leave it. Um, I don't know. It's seemingly open ended. Part is easy. Can't put yourself out there. But but again, that's why like. Other people can't put you out there either. So like if you get a call from somebody who heard about you from somebody else. Yeah, that whole thing. I don't know. That's where I felt it got kind of like sketchy and it's just like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, again, like as long as you're not. As long as you don't seem like or intend to yeah cater to everybody fly for everybody and it's just like oh like this person I don't I don't know <laughs> I don't know it is just not catering to everybody so what PPL can do for compensation right pro rat oh oh okay sure yeah, I, I I just memorized it. Pro rata, salesman, charity, rescue, incidental, production, and tow a glider. That's awesome. I should remember that now. <laughs> Got you. Yeah. 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 I don't know. It is. I I I'm I'm with you on that. Going. I did did my commercial over the single engine, but. And 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 it's still, it's all coming back to me. The just, holy. So it will. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't overthink it. Listen to your instructor, um, and and yeah, be cons be conservative about it. You just think the one one nine point one e oh is the P script, but for commercial. Oh, that makes sense. Interesting. So now you have to make a um. An acronym for that one. <laughs> okay. It will. It'll be good. You'll be fine. Um, Because, well. You tried. Oh, no. Not happening. I'll, I'll work on it. And maybe I'll send it to you. Because um, <laughs> I'm pretty good at that sort of a of, of thing. I mean, oh, God. So I was looking at um illusions. And it's is the visual illusions. So it is false horizon, 
Um, False Horizon, Autokinesis, Runway Width and Length, Terrain, or L Runway Width, sorry, Terrain, something, and another F one. And I can't remember it. And so, yes, Ice Flags is, but also for those specific ones, like specific visual ones, because I'm a child, but it works out. It's hard. <laughs> so, yeah, so that one was fun. Uh, you put that in a word maker to see if it would pop anything out. Nope. Well, we might have to rearrange it a little bit, so we'll see. Canvas, thank you for the fall. I don't know if it was, that was after the fart or if that was for something else, but um, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Illusion, Coriolis, Elevator, False Horizon, Lean, Autokinesis, Graveyard, Spiral, Somatographic. Right. So, so yeah, it was the, the visual illusions is what uh, those were. So it's, it's like in there, but also not all of those are in there. Um, it was in the, the bins um, lesson plans. Uh, is where I kind of took from that one. So, yes, but also the ice flags is very good as well. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm like 12 years old. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Um, so, we will. I, I have the I have the raid ready. We're going to go. We're going to go um, at some point. Um, couple things. Um, so, for anyone who is, uh, who is new to here, um, we we do flying, uh, but also we do reading. <laughs> Haven't in a while, but I'm really, really hoping. My plan is to get back to it on Thursday. So we started reading Sherlock Holmes. We're going to continue that, hopefully, again, Thursday. If anything changes, I guess I'll throw that out there again. I will post in my Discord. Um, and then we're not... We usually do Sundays, too, for random other things, um, but haven't done that in a while. We'll save that for now. Um, and then we'll be back to, what's the word? Um, flying again on Tuesday. So, is this a Cessna? It was a Cessna. It was a Cessna 150. I could throw that out, too. If anyone does not have the, oh, God, that didn't work. Sorry, hang on. I, I got really excited. If anyone does not have the WB Sim JP Logistics 152 um, for Microsoft Flight Simulator, you should definitely get it. It's amazing. It has Ducky uh, and all the good things. So, yes, it was. It was. And hello, by the way. Um, it was a Cessna. You are currently on my somewhat outro screen. <laughs> um, so we will. We'll send it over to the raid. Um, I, think, I think they're in a Piper. So, yeah. Take a shot every time the captain does an arm. Minora, the, oh God, uh, NW steering drag, during taxi check. <laughs> I don't know all the things. The nose wheel steering. Oh, arm, the nose wheel steering during taxi check. Okay, I don't know airline stuff yet, so I apologize for my um, not knowing the things. So, yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so yes, again, hopefully reading Sherlock on Thursday. Flying again will be on Tuesday. And yeah, see what happens. Um, so again, whoever got lost and found their way here or found their way back, thanks for being here. Again, thank you, Comet Crazy. Thank you, Melvin Reliore, for the raise. Thank you, for Charlie Foxtrot, as always, for everything. Check Charlie Foxtrot out as well. He is streaming tomorrow. Um, thank you to the follows. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for putting up with me. Good luck on your check ride if I don't see you uh, before then. Um, so it will. It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be good. It it's 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 generally confusing. So don't worry too much about it. You only I only care about my plane. Whatever is close to me. Yes. <laughs> You'll try at home and hop in before that. Okay, sounds good. But again, if you can't understand, and I hope to hear about it when it's done. Um. So yeah, it'll be good. So yes, we'll we'll I'll get the raid set up. Goodness gracious, I'm sorry. Um. Uh, where's the, how do I spell that? There. Okay. Oops. There it is. Boom. Uh, we shall go here. Uh, it looks like says that sim. 
and a piper. So we'll go like that. We'll see what happens. All right. So yes, again, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it so much. If I forgot anything, my brain is mush. I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, have a great whatever it's going to be for you. Hope to see you again soon. And until next time, all the good things. <laughs> thank you and bye. Thank you.